The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. You all right? We on? We on? You look sleepy. Yeah, you yeah, good? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sad, nigga. You sad? <laughs> yeah, this shit, this shit is not running through your blood. This shit is not in your DNA. We sad. Lyr- lyrical miracle. It's, it's a sad day, nigga. Got it, got it. Are you shitting me? Yeah, I just like when Santa Claus wasn't real. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you found out that was your fucking mom as the tooth fairy putting <laughs> some shit. Like your mom. It's like when you found out he wasn't really your uncle. Oh, oh shit. Oh, listen no, to this. Nigga. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen to this. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, that's like, a good one. Yeah. Like when you <laughs> found out, you, that's a good one, Ice. Dad, dad ain't dad. You're right. You are <laughs> after It's too much fucking cosplaying going on. It's confusing. Now y'all are attacking the fucking spirit of my... Oh, well, how could you not be sad? My phone has been on fire. <laughs> All the rappers <clears throat> been hitting you? Rappers. Had a lot of rap conversations. Executives. Mm. Insiders. My cousins, I don't even really be speaking to. <laughs> yeah, I got some cousins that's from the Carolinas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got uh, family in the Carolinas, but it's mm. been wild. I was with a pretty established artist last night, and he was he was pretty disappointed. I'm telling you, I don't know what y'all th- thought was going on. This is a sad, this is, I don't even remember a sadder time in hip-hop. Are you fucking it's shitting nasty. me? The apology heard across the world. What are you talking about? How y'all thought I was supposed to feel? <laughs> it was nasty, man. A 10-year buildup for the catfish. <laughs> y'all don't understand. That's a long time. Think about, think about what's really going on. We're going to start soon, man. I didn't want to. Nah, I nah. Wanna, we, I didn't want to start with a heavy heart. Listen, everybody out there heart is heavy right now, bro. We are, Everybody feel the same way right now. Everybody, no matter what side you was on in that, that, you felt you feel this way. Go ahead, man. Get your shit off. No, I mean, well, the Cole haters are happy. I don't think so. I don't. I don't. I don't even think so. I don't don't think they happy. I don't even think so because this is supposed to be one of them things where when 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 Kobe goes to the away to the uh, away games, like yeah, we don't fuck with him, but salute. Still Kobe. Salute. We here. We here for you. That ain't Kobe. That's what this was. No, it was Kobe. He, he ain't Kobe. I was wrong. That's not Tim Duncan either. <laughs> <laughs> That's Chris Paul. So, oh. yo, yo, stop. Don't do that. We not Paul, gonna let you yo, do that to a what? black man. Let's do that. Gonna Come gonna on, kick a pair to blacks. We not gonna let you do that. Oh, yeah, Paul. Oh, right. Parks hates Chris Paul. Though. Purvis Ellis. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah we're not doing Paul. that. We're not we doing that. Huh? Parks absolutely hates Chris Paul. Nah, it's fine. Nah, it's for nah, years. Nah. Like <laughs> this is since 20, 20 fucking. Oh my God. Oh, man. Oh, hey, man. Oh, Y'all man. feeling good though? Y'all yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Feel good, man. How? <laughs> Listen, man. These niggas gonna be who they are, man. I'm in the middle, man. I I feel you, but on the other hand, I understand. You know. You can't, nigga apologized. I don't understand. Nah. I don't understand, but I, I try to empathize and, and, and no. understand where he's coming from. No. Me, me too. What'd you come no, up with? No, no. I want to hear it. Me I too. come up with, you know, it takes a man, you know, he, he, he grew spiritually. It felt bad. It weighed on his on Yo, Flip, soul. I can see when you're on lying. <laughs> I can feel it in the air. <laughs> you feel it spiritually, yes. right? It, it, weighed, it, it weighed hard on him, and he apologized. I mean, it was a that gutsy... That weighed on him? It was a gutsy move. I was surprised. Yeah, we don't need your whole take right yeah. now, my brother. Got you. Yeah, let's open the show. No, Joe Biden. Oh, my God. Uh, enough oh, of that, so fucking hit the drops. Uh, the <laughs> oh, God. show is disgusting. I disgusting. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot believe what I'm witnessing. <laughs> I cannot. First of all, what episode is it? 715. 715? That's right. Welcome to episode 715 of the Joe Budden Podcast, brought to you, sponsored by, fueled by prize picks. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful. Highly disappointed host. (laughs) Highly and lowly favored 
host Joe Budden here with some, you know, here with some, let me, <laughs> Mel is here with us. Big Mel. Beautiful, <laughs> intelligent M4 is here. How are, how are you? I'm, Talented. I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank I God. feel like I might be doing a little bit better than you right God now. God is good. Yeah. Hey, God all the good. time. Yeah. All, all right. the time. Okay. Well, Mel, amen. All right. Okay. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Candace said Hallelujah. amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is good. My girl Candace. Amen. 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 <laughs> oh man, Candace. Oh, my God, Flip is here. Queens Flip. Big Flip. How you feeling, man? You good? I feel great, yes. Good, good. I'm happy. Great. Thank you. I'm happy. Ish is here. Antoine. Hey, hey. Good day, here. Sir. Salute, salute, good salute. Day, it's my man. It's my man. We go back. Freeze is here. What's happening, man? Big Ice is in the building. Yes, Another fucking vibe. Shout out to Miss Freeze. Big missing piece. Already. Parks is here with us yeah, today. Man. Parks is here. Erickson, Poe, Corey. <laughs> Everybody's here. <clears throat> Boy, y'all said some mean things to me, man. Me too, man. buddy. Okay, hold me up, too. man. Yeah. You guys, the audience is here. Again, if this is your first time here, welcome. Happy to have you. To the rest of you niggas, man. <laughs> Boy, y'all said some mean things to me. You know, I feel the same way. They said some mean shit about me too, but I went in the replies now. <laughs> huh? There was, some, there was some backup back there. <laughs> Shout out to the repliers, oh, I man. Thought you oh, went, I thought you went into no, replies. No, no, I didn't. You thought, you thought you was on his block. I'm not trying to lock again. Not, <laughs> they gave me three days. I wanted to a couple of times. I chilled out. I chilled out. Mm. <laughs> Niggas gave me three days this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yo. Boy, they called my career to the carpet. Same. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Saw that. You fucking bum. <laughs> hey. No, no, I mean. Nah, but don't be too excited now. <laughs> I'm not. While, while I'm sad. Not yeah. even a little bit. Now, come on. I mean, come on now. They've, they've done this. You owe me for my movie. They, they, they've they've done me. this before. They've done this before, though. One hit wonder. Mm. Mm. Who have you killed? Mm. Yeah, I see yeah. you say you never even caught a body. Ice. <laughs> I'm, they dead ass. They said that. Imagine, nigga, fucking... To kiss a rose started playing in my head, nigga. Seal. <laughs> they said that to me. Yeah. I know how Bill Russell and them felt, man. If time just goes on enough. <laughs> you get erased you from history. You're just gonna get erased, nigga. No matter <laughs> what you did. There's niggas that was there that said it. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. I was though. gonna say, yeah. There's there's some people that predated him <laughs> by a decade. <laughs> yeah, but those those people know better in this performative though. Those people know better in this performative. I'm more so speaking to the people that said that shit and meant that shit. Yeah, they don't Me. know. Me. Washed up nigga, your Wendy Williams <laughs> broadcast. Saw a lot of head shit. Headass mm. nigga, you quit. People saying that. You bowed out. Why do we want to hear from him? All I saw somebody say, fuck you know about this records. All you did was this Drake and nobody cared. Mm. Oh, mm. the pain. <laughs> If I, I say, saw you in heaven, <laughs> mm. <laughs> gotta sing Eric Clapton on Damn. this thing. They talk to me yeah, like that, was that wild. nigga. That me was that go okay, all, and all that I stand for. Now let me tell you, nigga, something. Let's assume I never caught a body, because we gotta address some of this stuff, and then we can start with the apology you heard around the world. Boy, am I sad about it. Mm. And I don't really know. I'm I'm front a little bit. Like, I am sad because just the competitive spirit of the thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, man, you told me all this time you was ready for this. You wanted this. You was looking for the nigga in the daytime with a flashlight. You the best. Keep comparing me to these niggas. It's a facade. They knock who they say. You tell me all this, and then you do that. Ugh. Anyway, though, back to what I'm saying. Yo, I don't speak the way I speak because I've killed mad of these niggas out there. You might have had to be there. Some of y'all wasn't. I don't know. Right? And if you're listening from this point moving forward, I'm going to assume that you want to hear what I think about some of these things. <laughs> I don't think that my character needs to be called into question every time. I speak because I'm in a very privileged position to have met some of these people, have looked some of these people in the eye. I've been in rooms that I wasn't supposed to be in. I've heard conversations I wasn't supposed to hear. I know enough to profile and pattern build most of the people I speak about. 
I've shared studio space. The, the, the blood that comes from the walls of the studio, I have drank. It's inside of me. I speak this way because I'm him. I did this shit. And I killed Mel Fruits, these niggas. Ask, me, ask your uncle. God damn it, I'm at that age now. You gotta <laughs> ask like your fucking older brother of some shit now. Where the fuck is this apology? Where is it? Where oh. the hell is the little thingamajiggy? Oh, <laughs> Joe yeah. is disgusted. Disgusted. Man, you know? <laughs> like, yo, dog, I've been on the phone nonstop since this shit. The eclipse eclipsed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that eclipse day. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you shitting me? Something was in the air. Yeah. The energy, the world just went upside down during the eclipse. That's what it was, yo? She was crazy. Yes. Mercury's also in retrograde. And that. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, yes, she's right. Yeah. She's That's right. It. Don't dismiss Don't dismiss no, her. No, no, no. We're not dismissing her. <laughs> don't dismiss her. Did you guys put your crystals in the windows and get Gatorade? them charged up and all that? Definitely. Yo. <laughs> I grabbed some Louis shades and went out there. Yeah. I don't give a fuck I put with the, the Ray I don't give a fuck what the news was telling me. Hey, 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 news. I refuse to believe them little flimsy shits got some shit my Louis don't got, all right? <laughs> I went right out there with the Louis and looked up. Stupid ass cloud was hating. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stupid ass cloud was hating. But on the news, them niggas was getting a good version. Yeah, no, I saw yeah, a nigga that was on I had the news flight. on. A nigga was on a flight when it happened. Wow. That oh, was wow. fire. Oh, that might have been fire. That's the one. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That might have been dope. You that was me? fire. The 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 earth, the, the moon, and the sun lined up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I never paid none of that shit no mind because when they told me that six years ago, seven years ago, or whatever, this was gonna be an eclipse like we never had in those you know, seventy years. I looked out, I ain't see shit going on. I was like, oh, these people, they front capitalism, back at it. But this time, <laughs> nah, it was blackouts. And then the sun came back, so it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It made me feel so fucking happy to be here. And then Cole wanted to pull his shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then Meek jumped in. It's been chaos. And then the city girls, girls jumped out. Are you shitting me? Are you, how could I sleep? It's Mer Mercury <laughs> and Gatorade. How could I sleep, yo? Uh, look, I took the cord out. All right, come on. Let's get to fight. Nigga dropped his phone and all. He broke his phone. Oh, Nigga's phone doing? broke. I cannot believe it. Nigga broke his phone. <laughs> Hold up, man. Here we go, this motherfucker. Is this it? I've been, I've been moving on my own accord, off my own desires, my own wants. Now, why am I saying all of that? All of that shit led me up until this point, 10 years later after this song. I'm here. Here I am. I've been, I've been just chasing my shit, you know what I mean? Like, like following my dream and just trying to like head to the fall off in a way that I wanted to do it. And so I put out this project on Friday called Mike Delete Later. I don't know how many people done checked it out or whatever. I put this project out. And I swear to God, I'm so proud of that project because I know one, it's just a lead up. It's just an EP that leads Please. me up to this thing that I've been yeah. working on for a long time. And I know the work it took to Cappuccino. get to a certain type of skill level. And I love this shit. So I, that shit mean a lot to me, right? So I'm so proud of the project except for one part. Ugh. Oh my God. It's uh, one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking uh, life. Right? I feel a piss coming up my ass. <laughs> you, know, this is not what you got the, you got the BGs? <laughs> I, I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah. Yeah, I, don't I, do I, it. I They're yelling. Don't. Don't. I, I was saying that at the screen. I damn near had a relapse, right? What the fuck you doing? Because he called it a relapse. <laughs> I heard some shit that happened two, two three weeks ago, however long it was. <laughs> Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the Oh, no, 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 no. Um, so all of this time of me moving on my own accord. No, don't acknowledge its power. Tested, why am I testing? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, bitch, boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh, my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's war time. Boom, 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 right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's fact. Yeah. Except for one part. I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. We do. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can feel that. I wonder why. We do. We come from that. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music you out. Start talking about spirit. That's what I did it. A lot of y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad. Oh, like, no. Mm. I'm trying to like Funeral. jab my nigga back. And I'm trying to keep it friendly. <sighs> but at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, 
That shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit oh, don't. Uh, that shit just looks like a fucking piece. Damn it. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and, and that shit. Don't do it. Trying to find a little angle. He's still and going. And downplay this, this nigga's fucking oh, uh, catalog. He, he read, he read the uh, right now tonight. How many people off. think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Peace. No, it's, no, it's not peace. <laughs> I pray that y'all are like, wait, give look. a nigga for like the misstep, and then and then I can get back to my true path. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, his true path. path he used these stuff. trigger words. Like, he talking like Mal. <laughs> his inner child. So all of that to say, man, I want to I want to now perform the song. That's a reminder. Get you, fucking <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> you shit. Get the shit out of me! Just yeah, you even get to the, you didn't even get to. I'll stick my chin out part. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. gotta get. No, you gotta. Come on, you got to. You got to. You got to. He says, he said, "Yo, you, my chin out." So whatever he do, reply, I'm just gonna yeah. take that on this. I can't <laughs> hear anymore. <laughs> I can't listen it's to cool. anymore. What happened to the rap game? Your takes. What happened to the rap? What happened to the rap game? Oh man. What we are, and, and, then, and then yelled out to his manager, yo, and we taking that shit off straight. Yeah, take that shit down. Is it off? <laughs> no, I, I just checked. It's still there. Oh, okay. He's going to let that first week go by. <laughs> the fuck you think? <laughs> he ain't fooling me. The Eclipse did it. Oh, oh, this later. was before the Eclipse. Do we oh, want good, news, good news or bad news first? Both. Let's start with bad. Fuck. Let's start with bad, yeah. Well, which is going to be a longer diatribe? Bad. Bad. Good. Let's start with good. Yeah, get the good. Get, the, get that out the way. Uh, all right. The good news... Uh, I'm all for J. Cole's mental health being well. I said last part, anybody that wants to bow out of this thing, please feel free to. Facts. Because this is not for the weak hearted. It's not. It comes with a lot more than a thousand phone calls. Like, if you're not ready to, to move in a different capacity, if you're not ready to speak in a different capacity, like I said earlier, risk some relationships if you're not ready to see niggas that you thought was friendly turn unfriendly this is before you get to anybody laying a bar your lifestyle has to change i know that because i beef with all of the people you're not supposed to beef with <laughs> i've done this with gang members i've done this with the toughest of tough i've done this with burrows i've done this with niggas that was lyrically ill the best of the best i've done this with the worst of the worst execs <laughs> Yeah, I've done this with execs. I beefed with my kid on wax. I've taken the hits, the threats, the punches, the lumps, <laughs> and I'm still here to speak about it. Yes, sir. Never going away. It's like that fucking bug that just won't leave, just keep <laughs> flying around. I'm still here. I did it. I did it. <laughs> a lot of you niggas mad I did it too, but we'll get to that later. Uh, okay, what's the bad? No, we're not done with the good. Oh, okay, good. Oh. Okay. Like, what a bold, mature move for hip-hop, right? Very rarely do we see these types of mature moves. So I want to highlight that. True. Shit, we ain't it, seen it in pop music and rock music when they was beefing. Yeah. Like, if it didn't sit right with his soul and his heart... And his spirit, and if you wasn't up for the task, I'm not with the cosplaying. Salute. Cosplaying is over now. Be who the fuck you niggas are. So if that's who he is, which many people suspected that that's who he is, or who he was, which is why we thought he should stop barking up certain fucking trees because they may fall, and then when they fall, you get up there and do this at your festival with your fans and your people, that one move. Now I got to think of the position that you put everybody in. Because hmm. I'm hearing nobody even knew about that uh, final track on your project. Not a soul. Top secret. That's interesting to me. Hove would have stopped that. Somebody with some knowledge would have told him not to do that. Why do you think Hove could stop that? Hove would have stopped it if he was able to stop it. If he spoke to Hove at any point before that happened, it wouldn't have happened. What? I feel like one of you guys up here said that sounded like a last minute addition. Well, yeah, it definitely yeah. The rest of the album sounded just, like it had already been done, but that sounded like it was done within the last couple of weeks as a response. And he, mm -hmm. then he says that. I just meant like, what have we seen in recent that shows that him and Hove got that relationship still? 
Oh, I don't know. I'm not here to debate that. But if if they did, if if he spoke to him or anybody, that just wouldn't happen that that way. Especially if this was going to be your move not even three days later. Not even three days later. No. This is unacceptable. That's why I don't like it. This is unacceptable. By the way. This is totally unacceptable for me. And I told y'all dudes that when these niggas get out there on stage frolicking, acting like they best bestest of buddies. These niggas get on these stages and say anything. It's way too many clips going around. And him saying that same speech to Drake about him being the greatest, that he says to Kendrick about him being the greatest. Where do you truly stand? I think this record. Where do you truly stand? I don't know. I, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. I don't want to hear no more about that record. I, I get you. I'm just, I don't want to hear no more about that record. I, I don't want to talk about it. Let he didn't mean it. Out. It sounded like he didn't mean it. His voice was trembling like he didn't mean it. His choice of words as one of the greatest lyricists says he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. I don't want to hear about that shit no more. Because oddly enough, what you did now is make the like that record sound harder again for another fucking week. Uh-huh. You definitely did. <laughs> That verse that y'all keep telling me Kendrick didn't do much on, every week that passes with y'all's new behavior, that song sounds harder. Mm-hmm. A bazooka. And now first person shooter sounds different. They do. This is real time art, how they change in perception out here, what these genius niggas are doing. I don't want to hear about that J. Cole record again. I don't. Not from nobody. And boy, you J. Cole fans in that community were hurtful. Mm-hmm. Boy, y'all were hurtful. I don't want to hear a fucking peep out of Earthstone Twitter. <laughs> Not a fucking peep. It is silent time. Earthstone. I enjoyed that part after y'all fucking bashed me. I enjoyed watching you tuck your fucking penises and shut the fuck up. Yes, same, it was that same, time now. Same. Be humble, bitch. Sit, sit down. down. <laughs> Boy, that was great. That was Dick Ryan Kendrick, apparently. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, man. No. No. No, 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 man. <laughs> I spoke to some people that really blew my mind with their analysis of this and how important geography is. Oh, seriously? Mm. I mean, J. Cole's from Fayetteville. Respectfully. What is it? Stop, yo. I'm not here to lie in front with y'all today. I'm not here to play. I'm not <laughs> going to cry. But don't laugh. This <laughs> shit ain't funny. J. Cole's from Fayetteville. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. it's some parts of Fayetteville to get down. Yes. Mm-hmm. But J. Cole's from Fayetteville. Stop it. Yo. A, stop. See? It's a bad day for that. Stop. Don't blame me. Leave, 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 leave Fayetteville Because you're alone. doing that thing to stop. <laughs> so you know, ish. J. Cole is from Fayetteville. J. Cole is on that... Y'all think I'd be playing with the Ari Lennox, Scotty. They do all that earthy college campus grassroot shit. If you listen to his raps, he just been trying to be the best fucking, the best rapper, the best MC. But it been, you got to listen to nigga's story. It's been college life. J. Cole has a <laughs> Hate to be that. Stop. I'm talking today. I don't care. It matters. It matters. So yes, you had the talent and the work ethic and the eyes and the brain and the, all of that to succeed and get to this point. But Kendrick Lamar is from Compton. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting. I'm not talking about music. Huh. I'm not talking about music. Listen to that story. All of that shit that he's saying in that. I got a whole lot of call. They beating me down. Like I wasn't on Kendrick's side. <laughs> they on my ass. But I understand. They speaking about his symbolism and what he stands for and the creative intent is, and how it's different. We never seen nothing like that. I got that. I respect that. But we never seen nothing like Drake, too, nigga. I'm glad J. Cole bowed out. Let me get back to the good part. I'm not on these two niggas yet. The good part is J. Cole bowed out. Nigga, move, bitch. Get out the way in the great words of Ludacris. Not calling J. Cole a bitch, but it's time to go. Take your earth stones. Take your fucking, what else them niggas be wearing? Your necklaces. Yeah, rose quartz. Your fucking yeah. Yeah. ring catchers. Yeah, take all of that shit. <laughs> Tapestries. Go ahead. Yeah. Go the tapestry the room. Yeah, take Backpack. all. Backpack. Yeah, yeah, all of that uh, shit. Your fucking black soap. Your go mac- lay some nog chomp or some butter. Take Thank your you. incense. Your and, macrame. Yeah. And go. Mm. Go. Go. No more big three. No more I'm the best. I dare one of these niggas to say something. Mm-mm. That was the war part that I used to speak that I was speaking about. All of these podcasts leading up to here that y'all discredited and dismissed is that part. 
It's the it's the mind, it's the mental tug of war that you go through when you battling these niggas. It's hey, I'm gonna jab a nigga that I know is a beast. <laughs> and I have to be prepared for, the, for him yep. to, to be a beast. That's right. Mm-hmm. Or don't jab him. And now what will I do? You gotta have those talks to yourself. I don't know how he did such a 180 so quickly. Right, have but yes. Time. To the people out there asking, losing in this fashion, does it discredit his standing on the list? You fucking right it does. Yes, it does. Absolutely. You are fucking right it does. Sorry. I don't make the rules. Now all that shit got to get called under the microscope. And now, see what you did? Oh, my God. I would have had to risk the relationship. Because now other niggas are coming to fire J. Cole. Why don't you tag lame the game? Watch this. Other nigg- now that we know that you don't really want to fire at nobody, other niggas are going to fire J. Cole. And if you J. Fire- Cole has to now pick a rapper to fire on. Yeah, but when you do he that. He got to go do it. Look what happened when you do that. Oh, mm-hmm. you ain't do that to you Kendrick, though. To Kendrick, yeah. yeah. It still ain't no, no, it don't matter. You still got to show the rest of the, I get the, rest it, of the crowd that they can't do this. They still, can't play with you. Asterix like going to be on that, though, no matter what. It don't matter. You still ran from that one. J. Cole, you put, you put the killers in your camp at such a disposition. Oh, uh, poor Jid. Yeah. Poor Jid. I don't know that Jid don't want smoke. Yeah. I don't know that. He seemed like he'll go. Now the whole fucking crew, niggas about to start shooting at Earth Gang and all these niggas. <laughs> Earthbenders, yeah. Bass! Poor yeah, Bass. Yeah, poor, yeah. What? You did that apology and then Schoolboy Q came out to perform. He is fucking my brain up. He, y'all fucking me up. It's backwards. I know. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. No, no, no. Schoolboy Q came out first. I don't care. I don't care. No, no. Don't fix it. It's a mess out it there. Is, it's terrible, dog. It is a mess out there. So, yes. J. Cole, I commend you for doing what your mind and heart and soul wanted to do. And I think that that's truly what's true to his spirit. I think J. Cole's a good man. True. True. J. Cole I, I is a good that. man. That's my point. He is a good man from Fayetteville. No, no, no. The niggas that hip hop birthed, birthed. <laughs> They not good men <laughs> from Fayetteville. <laughs> you giving them a lot of grace. There, I don't. Man. You don't grow up and just be all good, nigga. Something is wrong with most of us here. <laughs> no, he got a good heart and soul, and is kind. See, I, I, don't, I disagree with all that. I mean, not about the good heart and soul. He is a but good I, dude. No, no, no. I just think if you felt that way, I don't think you put that record out. Even if you recorded it, yeah. I don't think you put that record out. I think Cole put that record out, and the response got to him. You talking about this man's discography and they say, hold up, hold up. Well, let's look at yours next to his. No, he didn't want to lay it. He sounded like he didn't want to lay it. I, but you laid it. Emotions. Okay. You acted Emotions. all. Mm. You now are here. Okay. No matter what, you here. And all that shit you talked, all that buildup of, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the best and, 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 and I'm whoever wanted, all of that shit you talk. All right, here's somebody now. You took a shot. You took a jab. Cool. I wasn't mad at the jab. You know, we came yeah. here and discussed that. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad. I don't think you got to go and try to knock this nigga out first round. You took the jab. But the response you saw is what fucked with you. You saw everybody out there call that shit weak. You saw everybody out there tell you, hey, you ain't do that the right way. I don't know if it was that. You think that I, was it? Yes, I think that yes, was it. Yes, I do. I yes, I do. Okay, hey, listen. I, I'm, this is what I believe. It could mm-hmm. play a part, but I don't think. I think it played a major That's part. not at the bulk of it. That nigga was out yeah. there with Drake being buddy, buddy, brand buddies. <clears throat> that nigga was out there fucking listening to the talk on the tour bus. That nigga was out there chatty, chatty, hearing some things. And like most of us in this shit, you can be influenced to make a decision yes. in the in the, in the heat moment. of in it, the moment. that you might not have made. That's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like. And then he had the buddy buddy moments on stage. I watched the whole performance. He brought everybody. He did features with yeah. for the past five years up Sorry. on stage. It was no performance. Jeremiah Black, Benny. He, he, I said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He got the buddy buddy spirit in his in his heart, which has always been his bag. Yeah, yeah right. well. that's that's on brand. That's always been him. Then he should have shut the fuck up and done that. That's what I. That's what I'm because saying. Because there is, there, there is, there is, and well, there was a way for him to end this as the three K of this. 
as as Andre 3K, which is we just imagine what he would do in wartime because he's always just been in his art bag, his mind my business bag. I'm the best rapper. Correct. This is why I'm just going to give you my art, and you will judge, and you will see. He could have commented. He's, he's better than Common. I know, but Common at least went out and shot at Cube when Cube said something. Common's from Chicago. No doubt. Yes. I'm not going to let y'all escape geography in this conversation. From the rack. It matters. You had a conversation with Vince Staples, yo. I'm going to call him. He's mad at you. <laughs> mad at us? And I can't dare say anything that Vince Staples had to say to me in that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say one word of it. Yo, you gotta, that's, that's Vince talking right there. That geography take, that's a mm-hmm. Vince take. I don't know if that was him or me. That's a Vince take. That's a Vince take. But I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to let it go. I'm not going to let it go. It's <clears throat> a good point. I woke up and listened to fucking the bitch in you this morning. I'm playing that later. You have to be, you have to be from somewhere to do that. You have to have that in you. Let me not sound like there's not Fayetteville niggas out there with that in him. Mm-hmm. It's just not J. Cole. And that's respectable and commendable. Yeah, and I'm wrong with that. Just get out the way. It's main event time. All this 10-year build-up shit is over with. We are here. I'm telling you. We but are you here. you talk so much about being prepared for the main event. Man, peer that's pressure. That's the part that gets me off. Peer pressure. That's ice. the part that gets me. No, I'm talking about fuck the peer. I'm just you talking saying about. saying that's what it was. And staking my claim, planting my flag as I'm the best nigga out here out of all you niggas. Rapper. Yeah, rapper. This is rap. This is rap. He spent five years doing features on everybody's shit, killing this everybody. This is just rap. To prove that this point. wasn't be, like, again, they ain't said nothing that you can't walk. Like, I ain't disrespect you. I didn't yeah. violate you. This is just <laughs> rap. And as one of them type of rap niggas saying, I'm competitive, I can do this with anybody who want to do it. Well, here Man, goes somebody. Like, we, let we, let we, me we, ask you a question. Yeah. What's up? Shoot. Ha- have we, and we all have been around rap our entire lives, mm-hmm. have we really ever heard beef rap that don't get personal? Have you ever written no. a rap, and you are very good at this? No, we haven't. That you did not have to go get personal information and incorporate that in your raps to make it effective and to make it hit hard. Yeah, but so what? Um, I got a point. Yes, I've heard. I've heard it before. Where? Uh, Cannabis L. No, got personal. Where? LL got personal. Where? I don't know the shit by heart, but I, he got personal. I know. Him, I know him by heart. They was all talking about that tattoo and being the best. Right. That's that Mike, the tattoo. Yeah. Who's the best? And the don't say line. that you're the best on my song. Mm-hmm. It was all competitive. I went I'm and got Clef, Blah 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 blah. They start. He started getting personal. LL started getting. But my point is this. I think that he genuinely likes the dude. And to get there and to go where I have to go to prove that I'm superior, it got to get personal, and I don't want to do that. In, the, I, in hip-hop, well, you no, got to kill a no, nigga. I, I agree. You I get agree what I'm saying? Like, that's I don't think up, he wants... That's not up for debate. Yeah, I said that, that's that, what I think. I said that after my hollow battle, when they was asking me if I would battle rap again. No, I would never do it again because you have to have a genuine distaste dislike. Yeah. and mm-hmm. dislike for one of these dudes. When you go in the room with just you and you're pinning your pad and it's time to write, it's like, if you don't have nothing to say, then what you gonna say? And that's what I heard from Cole. That's, I've seen it. It didn't it. sound like question? he had nothing to say. Listen. It sounded like even what he said, he was just reaching it, at straws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. It sounded like he felt that in his soul. I agree. And to answer your question, I have seen it where two dudes just competitively, but they've done it on the same record. Not as a, I'm oh, not yeah, trying yeah. to it's diss It's not a you. diss song. I want to prove just, I'm, I'm better than I'm you. And that's what I took that Cole was trying to do. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily want to, I don't want to, we don't have a beef. Hov and Big. Yeah, they not going at each other. Kendrick's, nigga, I'm shooting at you. I jabbed at so you. So for just now, because you stood next to now him. I got to come Move. back directly at you. It's not us having a lyrical exercise on the same song. And I don't think J. Cole is willing to go personally shoot at this dude that he likes. Then shut That's, the fuck up. I'm up. not disagreeing Nobody's with you. Nobody's mad at that. I agree with you. Be, be true out. to Shut your up. soul. We not we that. not mad at that part. I, agree with I that. think that that's what he said. That he he said that he was instigated it, by his true. crew, mm-hmm. and that was the part that you didn't the boss, fit. Though. But that but that's no, the but, but, but he's a human. But he, bro, he's we a got human. emotions. Yeah, I was gonna say bro. he's yeah. a human. Yeah, yeah he's emotion. a human being, yeah. and you know peer pressure. Exactly. You're gonna you know you're gonna err, and you're gonna lean into peer pressure. And then when you find that it's not sitting right with you, and this is he said all of this. We always see a nigga or these situations where. You hype somebody up and force them to do something when they don't want to do it. Yo, you don't let that nigga do that? And Mm -hmm. we let you slide a lot of times when you let niggas violate, but now you're going to really let it? You know what I'm saying? So when you... Peer pressure is a hell of a thing. I just feel like 
His team, like Mel said, influenced him to do it and when the, he really didn't want to do it. And the fact that, like Joe said, nobody knew this was coming out. Because yeah, it could have been, it could have been, you go to your team, yo, this is what's happening. Hey, yo, dog, you know what he going to do? Did you sure you want to go there with it? You know, I, never mind. Because if you're not, hold on, just mm -hmm. if you're not confident enough that you want to do that, then you should talk to somebody then, nigga. I don't Ice. think it's a lot of sound like he sound like he was not. Y'all are saying he didn't want to put that record out. I'm, I'm not off that. I, you are J. Cole. You control your whole shit. If you didn't want to put that record out, bro, I'm not with putting it out. I didn't say he didn't. There's been plenty of times, Joe, you got I got records of yours about niggas that you did not put out. Why? You decided, you know what, I'm not putting this record out. Mm -hmm. How you much time how much time was 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 the decision? To not put it out, like this nigga is it was split second. Yeah, he put Joe will leave the studio and put the record out in the thing, car. It's a, it's a personal. But thing. this also, but I feel like this was also like super time sensitive for him. So maybe they're, they're, Joe and J Cole, they're two very fucking different people. I'm just with saying, the way that they operate. Though, you people know, who have done it where no, uh, half these rap niggas out here got records about niggas that they didn't put out. True. For whatever reason. I just feel like the noise was so loud that he felt like if he I didn't agree. do something, I agree. You know, that yeah. no response is a response kind of thing. But if you don't want to commit, don't respond. I agree, my but, point. But I think he believed a lot of that shit himself. He let people gas him. Yo, you say you the best. This nigga shot at you. What you going to do? Better say. They, we've never got this between the two of them for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Outside of the one time where they took each other's beat and rapped on it. The out like I, I guess you can compare that against each other. They've been featured on songs. They didn't do it. We've never got the head up between the two of them. Okay. They were supposed to do a joint album. It never happened. We've never got that. So now we here. He jabbed at you. What are you gonna do if you don't want to go? You should not go. But it's like what Joe. Said. It's, it's what I, Joe said. Right, it's well, just like you. Cool. If, if you. You now, have, you have to, you, you now, gotta know you gotta hang with that mistake. That's you gotta, you you gotta you know that you have the constitution for this kind of well, I'm shit. saying now niggas are gonna look at you differently. Hey, I guess he gotta, you gotta live with that. He just gotta, gotta, gotta live with it. Along with that, you gotta live with it. The accountability piece and him being a grown man saying, "Yo, I I made a mistake," is where he's hanging his hat. He gotta he gotta live with what come along. Yeah, he's willing to lay in it, bro, and live with whatever he do. So, like he said, I'm my chin out. I'm gonna take it on the chin. Cool. I, I, listen, that's that what he was, said. From a hip hop perspective, that was disgusting. That was disgusting. From, 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 from as hip hop, you know, fans is nasty. Listening to no, rappers, listening want, to beef, <laughs> that was nasty. But yeah, and I don't even like calling it beef because hey, it's yo, not sir, beef. That nigga poked his chin out. I know. That's all. <laughs> nigga, he used trigger words out there. <laughs> that's all. Can't really say nothing against it. That's why I respect what Joe said as far as the good side. He used a lot of words. I, I, all right, well, let's hit the bad oh, side. Then you know, slow down. Wait, heavy. Just slow down. Just slow down. It's okay. My brain is not computing fast enough to keep up with <laughs> what's going on right okay. now. What was we talking about? Focus, <laughs> chin out. Let's pause there. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Pain in my heart. My stomach. I rewinded it just to make sure he said that. He will poke his chin out. Listen. That nigga got a call or a text from Kendrick. You know Kendrick sent over some cryptic shit that said the dust the, the dust has settled. <laughs> and when it settles, <laughs> the dust mites get to feeding. <laughs> he said yeah. some shit, boy. Man, that yeah. nigga Kendrick sent him a text saying, all right. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. All right. That's it. Yeah, worse. I'm like, wow. Yeah. I bet. Word. Damn. Yeah. Word. Damn. Yeah. All right. Word. Bet. I bet. See, and then that's the other thing. My turn. That's the other thing. That's all. Buddy. Game time. That's, that is the other thing. You cannot put the toothpaste back in the tube. You can't unring the bell. I keep telling y'all, some of these niggas is stone cold killers. Kendrick is on cold ass now. And I want to hear nothing from y'all. That oh he apologized nah, why he still nah, I don't know the bully yeah. shit geography yeah. 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 he, he right about geography he, niggas he firing at him sorry niggas from the west don't care about that let shit let me ask you this he's one hundred percent firing at and him right I'm telling you that now now if he goes too crazy there ain't no too crazy all you gotta go say ahead. is the whole line or the uh, the Nas line pop shit apologize there's nothing Cole could do now stick your chin out like you said take that. What? Let me hear it. That's what comes with it, Ish. You tapped out I already. I disagree, but it's cool. Well, you think that what Kendrick should be? What? I think that if somebody showed grace and they apologized and they took accountability for what they did, 
Hey. Hey, you finish, man, please finish. I think it's, I think hey. Kendrick should let it rock. You didn't hear the man said geography. Man. You want to get something from Starbucks? <laughs> hold on, hold on, bro. You didn't hear the Take man. Take that mature shit. <laughs> Take that mature shit to Starbucks this episode, buddy. You Dunkin' Donuts. Say, I'm gas man, station coffee take. now. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't even dunk it. It ain't hey, got no name on it. When it's we just get, some when we get to your age, maybe. Yeah, we'll be Kendrick mature. is firing at J. Cole ish. I'm <laughs> telling you something. I bet it all. All my chips to the to the center of the table. He's firing it up. How much? Huh? How much you want to bet? And before you even make the bet, let me tell you that uh Musa is on Instagram posting the uh it's too late to apologize. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. Yeah. It's too late to apologize. So before you make it back, because I don't just want to take money from you, I just want you to know the temperament. He's standing in his bed. And right? I know him. I'm telling you something. Like, I don't want to take your money. He is 100% firing at him. It's Cole, just, and just I, think Cole, I think Cole know that. I think he did send him a text or a message. Just, just all right, my nigga. I've had a few people tell me that Kendrick had, he wrote some options for that, like that beat. <laughs> and I didn't need nobody to tell me that. See, that's why I love that this is played out this way. I'm nice at this shit, man. <laughs> I'm nice at this shit. I didn't need nobody to tell me that Kendrick wrote however many versions to like that and then went to another studio to write his Drake disc. None of y'all needed to tell me that. It's in the chamber. It's there. And I'm hearing that he chose the kindest one. Oh, shit. Well, we know that from. I'm hearing. We done seen some leaked records, that he some gave, old shit. That he even still gave a little gave grace. A little grace. <laughs> so are you guys excited about that? Yes. Yes. Really? Yes. 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 J. Cole's literally just like laid down his sword and just said, and backed up. And so he's still going to fight. You ain't like Game of Thrones? We, they they about, they yeah. about no. They're nobody nobody laid down Starbucks the sword. They just said, Mel, huh? they're about to send you to Starbucks with me. Hey, Mel. I will have yeah. a matcha tea latte. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're going to order. No, y'all going to go get it. No, no, no. Not Uber. No, no, no. You're going to walk yeah. to get the Starbucks. Don't even do it in the app. Wait in there. <laughs> but Mel, here's the part, though. You still threw a punch. Yo. Meh. Was it no, a man, punch? Yes. yes. You two. Yes. Wait, you two sat I said up on. A jab. Wait, I was going to say, you two sat up on that punch. couch. Hey, we are done with this. <laughs> we're no, done with you guys punch. were talking about jab, punch, uppercut, all the Go shit. Ahead, you you guys were literally sitting on that couch yes. talking about this was a, hey, little brother, don't want to fire on you. This was just a little tap. It wasn't even a body hit. You know what I'm saying? But you still jabbed. But now he's coming back and saying. Yo, my bad. I didn't mean to jab you. I'm How sorry. much fun is it to watch a fight go down where somebody where said, where, don't exa- fight. and somebody's got their hands down and they're like, I'm not going to fight you, bro? Hey, yo, there was a boxing How, match. how interesting. There was is a that? boxing match. The video went viral a while ago. As soon as the bell rang, dude walked out the ring and left. Can you give me the little sausage egg sandwich? And I need a marshmallow <laughs> game <laughs> bar, too. And some cake pops. <laughs> like, I got you. But I got you. nah, like, dude walked out the ring. Mm-hmm. Like, as soon as the bell rang, ding, 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 walked out. Fight over. I, I, I don't want to fight. That's not the same thing as getting in the ring, squaring up, throw a jab, and then it's, yo, never mind, yo, I don't even want to do this no more. No, nigga, you still hit me. You still hit me. Okay. I have the right to now respond however I see fit. I got some money, Kendrick. Don't say nothing back. I'll take it then, since you want to be bold. How much? Whatever. <laughs> How much is? Like, because, Joe, I want to make the, 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 the parameters be set. I mean, like, not no encrypted shit where we can assume he's shooting at Cole. I mean, nigga, Direct. I'm coming for your jugular. Yeah. I, I, I don't think he will. I got 500. I don't think there'll be much room left for the assumption only by you if you're losing this. Like, like I want it to saying, be definitive is what I'm saying. I made these North Carolina niggas apologize and you gonna say, nah, 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 Pablo. Yeah, who He doesn't say his name. Yeah, I don't want to do that with you. Because he was beefing with Lazo Ball, brother. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't nah. need the 500 if it's gonna lead to me nah. fighting with my brother. Nah, so nah. if you're not gonna do that, no, no, no. I'll take I it mean, back. I mean, like, definitively know that we know he's shooting that cold. Oh, I'll, then I'll take it back. I'll take it back because that's happening. I could give you the next 25 pages of this beef now, and I don't want to focus on Cole because he's not in it. Yeah, he's not in it. Bad side. Cole, you look that different. I'm sorry. That's true. That is a fact. Mm-hmm. Your, your, your discography, uh, I don't think it'll impact your career, but it will impact your legacy. It will, imp- it will impact your legacy. I agree. Uh, it's just how you did it. Yeah. 
even if I felt that way, I would have tried to do it silently. The 3K shit, sound, that was a great. Or do it in that a. That was a really good. Do point. it in a couple weeks. Nah, I don't. If you don't want to do it at all, the 3K shit is perfect. See, like, even that. I can, I'll I, rap y'all. I'm going to let the critics say, nah, he took the high road. He's him and not say nothing back. I think doing that shit so fast was to try to get dude to cool off, to chill out. Now, listen. Oh, this That's was my other point that I wanted me, to make. Let me hurry up and get this out there. I think he had to take there. advantage of what was in front of him. This is J. Cole. No, 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 no. Like this he, is J. Cole. His, his festival, the house he created, his fan base, you know, it, 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 was, it, was a, it was a very friendly environment to be very receptive to what he was saying. No, nah, it, it, it would have worked anywhere. It's him. You that, don't have that reputation. It's I want to speculate for a little bit. I do. <clears throat> because I do feel like, I do feel like J. Cole knows something that we don't know. That's possible. And where this move makes the most sense for me in my head Damage control. is if J. Cole is about to retire. Well, I think he is anyway. I, I think, think that's what is. the fall off is. I think that's what the fall off is. And when you hear what he was saying, mm. it kind of hinted at, yeah, I'm done with this shit. It sounded like I someone who's finished. Yeah, I want to I keep all my relationships I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to hold y'all. Yeah, it mm -hmm. did. It did. It makes me look at the fall off a little differently. This might delete later shit. Like he said, I don't know how many more of these Dreamville festivals I got in uh, front of me. Like he said all of that. And his home turf. Yeah. Ugh. But if he's about to retire, then I totally understand him wanting to save the relationship, not engage in anything that is destructive. Mm -hmm. Uh and just ride off into the sunset. Yeah, go find you a flute, off, man. Off the career. Yeah, exactly. Go you find you a flute. flute. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Some exactly. overalls. You yeah, a little ukulele or something. He already had the overalls. <laughs> yeah, he did that. He did or. The business. Or. Now, his business is good. We talking about. I mean, joint, up, joint business. Up, up, up. These, all these gentlemen are up, up, up. They up. They are all up. They up. Um. What was I saying? Or, 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 I do believe that uh, Kendrick sent a text or a phone call. So he got something. a message. I believe a that. A kite was sent. I believe yeah. that. And if the call, sometimes how those calls go is, yo, you my man, so I'm going to tell you this. Get out the way. Whatever little rappy shit you thought was going on, it's not that. And something is coming. I think that J. Cole knows that from either Kendrick or Drake or both. And it was time to bow out because now we are no longer in the Rap first beef. round. Rap made made yeah. event time. We are, yeah. No, yeah. We are yeah. no longer in the first or second round of this thing. Kendrick has earned himself a bye with Cole's apology. But I think that the insiders know, actually, I have it on good information <laughs> I have it on good information that both sides went in the booth and came out. They ready. And what I'm hearing about both sides is that it's nuclear. Hmm. It's up, up. I'm hearing this from people that can rap. So I want to come in here and say that speculation time is over. Mm. Debate time is over. I've been saying for a few pods now that I've seen absolutely nothing from Drake to get me excited enough to think that he will be capable of doing what needs to be done against the likes of a Kendrick Lamar. I'm here to say that there is no longer any need for me to instigate anything. We're here. And apparently, Drake is too. He did it. Mm. And people heard it. Mm. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised. I hope he's. When do you think you drop it? I hear Just curious. I heard it. I, I think it's coming. I heard it. I think it's coming. I heard it's coming Friday. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. I heard it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, prize picks. Be right. <laughs> <laughs> the relationship will be fine. Just give it a minute. Let just, just breathe. We are finally here. 
And the, and, and the thing about this one, like the same way we thought we were here with I Cole, cry. no, we're going to get this one. Both sides I want could, this one. I could cry. Main event time. So we could be sad for a little bit that we saw the little apology yeah. walk back. I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sad yeah, about Cole, yeah, but I'm happy. Like, but, but, but get out but, of here. You know take the ball to go home. And yeah. it wasn't going to be fair. Both of them <laughs> jumping, jumping Kendrick. It would have been a little cloudy. <laughs> they jumping. Yo, you know what? Listen. The same way I'm saying some of these rappers never had a fight, some of y'all never had a fight out there. Some of the listeners. Honestly. I was going to say that. Honestly. Some of y'all never been in one. Some of y'all can't smell a threat, sniff a threat. It never been two on one, two on three, you and your man in a whole nother hood, whole nother projects. Let me tell you something. I know some people that have. And when it's two on one, like it was Drake and J. Cole versus Kendrick, the math get the math in your head. And what everybody says is, take the weak one out fast. One punch the weak one. Bow! Put your back against the wall. Get him on the ground. The video is going viral of the young black man at the pool Ooh. beating up seven, seven of the of white them. boys. <laughs> My condolences to those white boys. Yeah. He was dropping them niggas like Domino. <laughs> <laughs> he knocked one of them niggas out four times. The same nigga kept I, getting up, I walking not. right into the knockout. But those are gentlemen that have never been in the fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, once you get the man, the, the easy one down, oh, man. now take your time with this guy yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm glad that Cole mm -hmm. ethered himself. And boy, it hurts. He did. What's that shit called in uh, Shogun? Oh. Oh fuck! I forget. I know you talking. Yeah, about yeah, he did the Shogun shit. Where you stab yourself? And yeah. kill yourself. He is yeah. the now walking embodiment on. of make the apology be as loud no. as the disrespect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He is the walking embodiment of. He is the walking embodiment now of. Uh, you ain't living. You witnessed it from your folks' pad, uh, scribbled in your notepad, and created your life. life. I don't want to hear none of this shit from J Cole now. It's cool though. You great, still rapper. great rapper though. Great. Just great, do, great rapper. Do over there. You good. Right, you yo. good. Yo. Poor Big Sean, man. So, but you know the other thing about being a great rapper, though? This is the thing about the great rapper. Back to that talk I had about the killers versus the great rappers. I believe that we don't even have nobody that we consider to be a great rapper that hasn't gone through this. Anybody y'all pick mm -hmm. that's in the top seven rappers... They've gone through this. Mm -hmm. They've done this. He might have been the only one. They've gone through this. And and what I'll say is, for the killer group, sometimes it wasn't the great rappers. I started last pod with Beans. You know what that was? That was the best rapper stepping to the side and saying, you go get him. You got him. And he got him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm trying to think. Come on, Cole. Cole, Cole, boy, you let us, you let us down. Let you let us down twice. You man. let us down. Uh, I'm with Styles P. Let me read what Styles P had yeah, to say. That was a good. Let me one. read what Styles P had to say. I'm absolutely with him. He said, uh, "Oh, that's not it. Where's the shit at?" Mm -mm 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 -mm. Styles went in on Cole. No, no, no. He just oh. spoke from a two two sides of it: yeah. a competitive aspect and a mental health aspect. Great statement, though. You got it. I got it somewhere in my phone. <laughs> Who's well, yeah, that's is this? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not in the right spot. I'm bugging this out. This nigga said, who page is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I got it. Here we go. All right. Uh, Style says, the MC with the competitive nature part of me is upset at that young man while the mental wellness take care of your spirit part of me is very proud of him. He just confused the shit out of my frequencies. <laughs> but I'm going to always go with the take care of your spirit and please uh, please yourself before you worry about pleasing others. Okay. I'm totally with him on Very just well the, the, the confusing. Well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, you fucking us up. Us that's like 40 and up, you fucked us up with that one. You know why he fucked us up so bad, though? Is because you were running around here screaming how... You was that dude and you will send a missile at anybody. Like all of those type of things that made it seem like if somebody shot at you, you was ready for war. He literally went on a war path for the past five years going on everybody's record showing I can out rap any single body that will feature me on their record. And did it to the top of the, of the tops with the Drake record. Mm -hmm. 
Like literally was up here right. saying, I want to go down as the greatest when this is all done. He said, you know, even when people thought he was dissing uh, young boy, he's like, oh, if I if I diss you, I make sure it hit you like I'm on your call ID. Like he's making it seem like, yo, I can go at any of you. Yeah. So now when the moment came, you went. And now I'll be it wasn't is it wasn't a strong punch, but you did it. Maybe if it was cool. somebody else. Maybe if it was somebody else. Yeah. I get that. That might play a part. I, it, I'm, I'm sure it does play a part, but... It hasn't been anybody else, though. It, that's that's it. It's been the same person. It's been the same person career. that everybody's been putting you... It's y'all two right here, right here, right here. Y'all got to get this head up one way or another. Now we here, and you actually committed to it. I get y'all saying for whatever reasons, but you stepped out there and you did it. You threw the jab. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm off it, man. No, we get back to it. No, yeah. I'm, I'm off that part until oh, I get okay. some. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm, off not, that. I'm not off of this, goddamn it. I'm we off are that here. Part. I'm just. Uh, time for my favorite part of the show, Prize Picks. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Uh, Prize Picks is the number one daily fantasy sports app in all of the land. Really easy and simple to play, and it could get you a couple of extra dollars for the hot summer on the way. All you have to do is select two or more players, look at their projected stat line, pick more or less for your chance to win up to 25 times your money. That's right. You can also turn $10 into $1,000, and you can win up to 100 times your money on prize picks. If you guess correctly with basketball, hockey, uh, college basketball is over now, but the playing uh, the playing should begin soon, as well as the NBA playoffs should begin soon. There is no shortage of sports. So if you're good at this strategic thinking thing and you think you know a little bit about sports, Please don't forget to use promo code JBP and good luck to everyone out there on prize picks. Now, back to fucking Cole. <laughs> uh, if y'all want to give me a quick synopsis on what you think this does for him from this point forward, please. Um, I just think that anytime he talks that, that, you know, he can't. I'm I'm him and the number one. All I think that is affected. Nothing else though. He, he can't even say that shit in his raps no more at all. Say my name, did the all yeah. that. He can't. Yeah. I think yeah. all that. I think all that's affected. Man. That's the problem with that whole. It'll be like SWAT and a fly. Like that's what I'm saying about having to prove it at some point. At some point, if you talk like that, when the other nigga walk up to you and get in his bag, you got to get in your bag. Mm -hmm. This is this is like in school when the dude that all year long you thought this dude could fight. And exactly. all year and they long, smack him in the lunchroom and he go tell the principal. But like the last day or the day before the last day of school, like you went through the whole year giving this nigga a certain honor and some, prestige. Some niggas put it on you. Some nigga put it on and you. And that fucking lunch hey, right before the last day of school. It's a short nigga too. You find out that nigga just get molly whopped in the lunchroom or after school or some shit. <laughs> Falling to the grave. This, this is the nigga that Boy, says crowns for Jersey City. Yo, I slap shit out of anybody in here. Yeah, and a nigga step step up. All right. Yeah. Slap me, nigga. And then he slap and you. you. And, and th that's what that's what this is. I, I, I feel like it puts a target on Cole's back. I feel like a lot of people are gonna test him now. Cole about to get fired on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cole target. about to get fired this on. It's gonna be a lot of target and practice. Cole gotta go pick a victim. And I he got to go pick somebody. I think just, when they fire on him, he's going to make an example out of the first two niggas that fire on no, him. Yeah. No, he's he going to be somewhere playing the flute. No, no he, he ain't. You know, <laughs> why, you know why, though? You just said, it's look, my look, friend. Oh, but hold on. It's not in him. The mental aspect of I got, I have to really get to a place of I don't, I don't like you. I, I want to go there. I don't, Cole like everybody. I'm not even debating this anymore. It's not in him. It's not in him. He, he like everybody. We're going to see. I saw it. No, you're gonna see. Yeah. I don't. I don't have to see nothing else. It's that's, over for the that's tough the talk thing. shit. Yeah, it's over for that. Yeah. It's not. We gonna see yeah. time no more. We saw a nigga came. He said what he said. You said what you said. Recanted. Tried to correct the record. Called him. Text him. Apologized. Put your chin out. I don't need to see nothing else, nigga. I ain't. I ain't no dummy. Mom ain't raised no fool. Mom ain't raised no fool. I ain't just gonna keep sitting out the window waiting for dad to come home. <laughs> Well, you, facts, man. Hey, you, hey, you, hey, you missed them first two Christmases. Hey, by the third one, I'll have it together. Ain't no expect, ain't no expectation. Yeah, all of that crying. Oh, where is he? Oh. No, 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 no. All that mama making up lies. Oh man, he had to make a run. Had to work. He's in jail. Nah, nigga, no. It is no. what it is now. Yep. Dad boogie. He went to the store to get them cigarettes and, and bounced. 
The fuck he, you talking about? We gonna see. We smo- saw it. He's smoking in Ohio right now at his own festival in front of his own fans, out his own mouth. Two days after his own project like that is still a number one record. No, these niggas got another album dropping Friday. No, 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 no. You know what really? Please, please. You know, please, you know what it really please. looked funny to me is if he does. Like I made the joke that he's waiting to get them first week numbers. Mm-hmm. If he waits and then take that record off. If he really do pull the uh, seven minute drill off of streaming, but waits till after the week, that looks. Then right. everything I said last week that they killed me for was one hundred percent right. That was it was the problem. I don't care whether you pull it or not. He said what he said. No, I know. Yeah. I'm just saying that's he, icing on the cake. Extra you do icing. that nasty shit on top of all of that. Uh, there's, there's diabetes time. Uh, but uh, other hmm, than that, hmm. this is as nasty as it can get. This is a the black eye on the competitive nature of hip hop. Because hmm. that's the thing. Nobody felt like somebody was about to die. I do want to talk about that briefly, too, because people are like, oh, this is art. It's not competitive. Yes, it is. Every artist in the history of art has been competitive. No, it's definitely competitive. Bro, any, it, fuck art. Anybody who felt they were the best felt like if somebody challenges my claim for the best, I'm going to show them I'm the best. Mm-hmm. Basketball, sport, like anything. If you, if you feel like you're the best and somebody come out and say, nah, nigga, I'm better than you. You gotta show me now. We seen Mike Jack and Prince. We seen the Anybody, Beatles and the Rolling Stones. Saying, All these motherfuckers bro. was beefing. Deion Sanders said, "Yo, let me get some cleats. Let me share every receiver y'all got there." I'm sure Mozart, and whoever practice. them was, yeah, violating yeah. each other <laughs> bars, violin each other. bars, Michelangelo, the, the, la- the, yeah. yeah. the, the, yeah. la- the last job I had before human here, nature. I on the interview, I said, "Yo, dog, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Give me this job, I'll make all your other dudes look bad." It, it, damn, gave it to me and, and did it. Like you was the man. I was the man. Human nature, boy. <laughs> Michael did the, the song. <sighs> That's right. A lot of niggas don't answer the phone on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> they know time it is. That's yeah. right. Don't they answer. Don't up. answer it now. They still might want that feature. Or That's right. Uh, <laughs> might get a call back. What you saying yeah. about that? No, I was just 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 saying like when you feel like you really are the best. Anybody's challenging your claim, you're gonna want to prove it, and they got to show it. All right, come on. It's over yeah. for that best shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't want to hear it from him. Okay. Yeah. But, again, I've seen people say, yo, your whole discography is invalid. Nah. No, no, none of that. Cole is still Cole, amazing rapper. I just don't want to hear that I am the best out of all you niggas. And, and, I, and I don't believe that you want to be that. Yeah. I don't want to hear it'll be like swatting a fly. Yeah. Enough of that. It'll be no more of you trying to diminish. Nah. Mm-mm. It's over. Sorry. I'm sad. I'm sad, but it's over. Mm-hmm. Now. Uh, <laughs> main event? It's main event time now. Main event time. Are we there? And I'm here to tell you, if Drake went and did what people are telling me that he went and did, I hope he's then I'm ready to be phony. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to be phony. I'm going with the context of the beef as it goes. Somehow I said that J. Cole would be the guy. Womp, womp, womp. I think this is wrong. I thought he had a chance. Oh, I thought he was going to step I, up to the plate. He had a chance. He I had a chance to really do it. He did, have, I a, he did have a chance. I said, when we first talked, I said, I said it. Besides hands, you got to have heart. I literally said it. I said, this is J. Cole's moment. This, yeah. He is the one. You Now you got to make the decision. You either gonna seize that moment or let it pass you by. So this, is, this is it. He, he chose, chose a different path. Chose what a, what a path. position! I want to speak. What a position for Drake to be in. What a position for Drake to be in. And I tried to tell y'all before, but y'all fought with me. So, but we ain't here to fight today. That I would look at it away if he sent J Cole out there <laughs> and didn't do nothing. And y'all said, "Ain't no sin. Ain't no sin." He's him. I know. But <laughs> some niggas read the art of war <laughs> and some niggas didn't. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you might have a man in war that's antsy and make the wrong move and then he get duffed out while you and the rest of y'all niggas win the shit. J. Cole went there and fucking was early for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> but stood in the street. Listen, man. So now what I'm saying about Drake's position is this. Drake has had a chance well, tour's over, first of all. Mm-hmm. Tour's done. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all's getting me pissed on tour, but tour's done now. I got some time. Mm-hmm. But put that to the side. Drake has had a chance to see, even in Cole's half-hearted diss, it worked a little. 
They call they call Kendrick's catalog to question. Whatever else was said, Kendrick did have. There was a, a rough current in the water. He he, he told the truth. Somebody a lot of some, that shit. Somebody went. Your your man went and set it off, but he died. Your man started to fight and got a good one in, but he died. Drake get to see what worked, what didn't work, how you received when you go too fast, how you received in just your what you did lyrically versus that. You just get to watch. Like that shit it's about like game tape. That shit about to take you 30 months to write a verse, all of that type of shit. Like. And it it's like in Temple Run when you used to do good and you got an extra man. You just killed your man or you got an extra man. <laughs> J. Cole just died in front of everybody. Fam, it's, it's, it's chess. You let the pawn go out there. You sacrifice your pawn and now you're uh, playing your strategy, playing your attack. And you get to see the temperament of the audience. As, as the headline comedian, I'm, I might just stand at the side of the stage and just see how it's going for the gentleman before me. So Drake has a good, had a, just a good peripheral view of mm-hmm. all of these things. Mm-hmm. And... Go test him out there. Go ahead, go ahead. And I'll tell you, Kendrick. <coughs> you good? Uh-huh. I'll tell you, Kendrick. You will need to up it a level if word on the street is true. I already think you're a monster. I'm not here to call into question your opinion and what you're capable of. But there will be another level that you have to get to if the little coal rumblings caused what it did for these few days. Because when Diana Ross is coming. (laughs) (laughs) And that's where I'm just cool with being phony because we've never seen nothing like this. You know, I'm talking about geography plays in the part. Drake is Drake because the niggas are actor. I think it's from Canada, been admiring each and every one of y'all. Got better at this shit than niggas. He's a sponge, too. Then went and got with Wayne, but look at all the places he sponged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, he is the Thanos of this shit. He's petty, too. And he's a petty Scorpio. That's the the part. Mm -hmm. That's the part that I watch. He's a fucking petty Scorpio. I come on this pod and I say things because I know that when the war is on, all of these niggas be listening. <laughs> they listen to every <laughs> word. Mm-hmm. They hear it all. So I say things sometimes to instigate. <laughs> but. And there's validity in that shit. I don't think Drake, you know what I mean? Nah, I ain't just backing up off what I'm saying. <laughs> he ain't showed that in a while. But if the rumors are true, then he went and mustered it up. Okay. And that's maybe where I was caught slipping on some of these parts. I forgot that though I haven't shown this, if I get mad enough, a volcano will erupt. And if he did that. Dirty gray sweatpants, put the money in the side drawer. Give me some old Timberlands and let me write, yo. You know why people get caught up with that and forget that? Because when he had the opportunity to do it against like a Pusha T, Mm -hmm. who gave you every reason to be really upset and really go scorched earth on him, you tucked it. I know, but you know what? I think that's a bad example because Pusha T is the exception, not the rule. There aren't... We're just going off of history, though. But I will not do that anymore. There's only... Pusha T is on a short list of breathing humans that are willing to even say what he said mm-hmm. on a microphone towards someone. Yeah, that nigga's a demon. Like, he ain't... As far as the rest of the field, right? If Drake is not looking at somebody that he probably feels inferior to in combat on some war, lyrical, I used to look up to you type shit, then I think he feel like he got the rest of them. And he's had enough success to look at the niggas he was looking up to. Like, hey, you niggas, y'all too. <laughs> y'all bombs down too. <laughs> y'all, y'all too. And I mean, he got a lot of shit he could, you know, listen. Can't, can't. But if he remembers how to Burn rap. the going to take care. I'm not talking about that scary hours three shit that y'all keep beating me down about. I don't want to hear about that shit ever again either. But if he goes and, and remembers uh, that bag, 
This is going to get catastrophic between these two, and I cannot wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it. I hope everyone stays safe and nonviolent. I don't think it's going to get there either. I mean, that, that was another point that people are bringing up with the coal shit. It's like, oh, you don't want to see death and violence in hip hop. Like, I, I no, whoever that. thought that this was going to lead to that? Especially between them two. That's what I'm saying. Like, I ain't going to front. The wrong thing said between Drake and Kendrick, their people may get involved with some shit. Possibly. I, I could see that. Cole and Kendrick, I looked at as just pure competition in sport. Mm-hmm. And that's why I thought we would get it. And I thought Cole was even saying it. It was that. When do you think this drops? Which Friday. one? I know the rumor out there is that the Drake response drops Thursday night. Thursday night, yeah. Thursday um, night. It's a couple things, I think. Um, would you do that? No. I, I wouldn't do that either. I would think Thursday or Saturday. I would. I would not do that. I think he either gets ahead of it or he waits. A couple reasons why I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't get ahead of it. I would never get ahead of it, especially if it's like that. If no it's problem. like that, Thursday night. I'm, exactly. I wouldn't. So you would step on the future release. If it's yeah. real, but yeah. it got to be that. Like, it, it can't be a 75 on the test. It can't be an 80 on the test. It got to be like a 97. Mm-hmm. It got to be one of those types of verses or songs that's like, I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas putting out. I'm him. And I'm going to th- show y'all that I'm him. I'm going to step on niggas, y'all shit. Niggas could have been dick riding when they told me. I don't know. It could have been. I don't know. So but we got to see. Let me could've ask been. you. Reason why I, don't, I wouldn't do that, because this is also Drake, Hitmaker, and I think, especially with like that being a number one record, still, I think that's gonna that counts to him. So if when I come back, I need a a, a smack, like like that basically stay schemed Drake. Back to back to, no, he stay scheming them. In terms of, this is a feature, on somebody else's song. I mm. dissed you, which turns into a club smash. It even got the same fade out that. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym, all of that. He that Drake ain't never felt that before. And now to add on to that, it went number one for two weeks straight. Three. Oh shit. A third. Eesh. I don't see him just jumping. I wouldn't out. step on the future release. I would wait till Saturday. I, I would have to wait. I mean. Because something is coming on that future shit. I mean. Yeah, absolutely. I'm with Ish though. Absolutely. What? If if I got the yo, if I got the if I got the, the thing, nuke, yo, I'm, I'm this the thing, yo. Do you really feel you like that? Like, if you really feel you like that, you don't give a fuck who's coming. If you, in your heart of hearts, really he believe that I'm mm-hmm. that nigga, I don't give a fuck who's coming. Michael Jackson could be reincarnated. Mm-hmm. If I'm him, nigga, I'm coming out. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Uh, I think timing is a big part of war. True. Mm-hmm. You're right. Mm-hmm. I don't think how you pick your timing would be an indictment on your confidence. So, what, so what would be your reason to tuck it until Saturday? I want to step on any momentum. That would be Thursday. Though. Thursday night. I was not, say, not to me. Thursday? No, that's, that's not true. That's if not you true. You come before the reverse. You, you, mid, yeah. you know, midnight launch. It'll be the same that's, time the album drops. That's me playing my draw four, not knowing that mm-hmm. they got what's some behind shit. me. Exactly. It might be a draw four yeah. behind me. I know, and that's fear. No. Oh no, if, I'm, I'm not. If you got that. the big Joker. <laughs> if you have to release Friday, you set this date. This has nothing to do with me. You set this date. You release an artwork. You just bombed on me a couple weeks ago. I'm tight. I need to see what other bombs exist. Possibly. Your other angles, what other friends you got, that strategy. who else you yeah. teaming yes. up Auto with, yeah. especially yeah. if I think I got something in the tuck that's going to that's that's kill that and destroy out. all yep. noise. Now, yep. I'm, I'm going to say this. It don't matter how much noise your album make now. I'm playing, I got the big joke at the table. I play this whenever I feel like it and all books come to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If he do it before, is. future is still future. Mm-hmm. Like, he still garners enough attention to squash, to... to Oh shit, he's out of the game. It could be crazy again. Yo, let's not forget. It was crazy two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. It was crazy. Pandemonium, my nigga. Yeah. Yes. Don't don't let that get beside you. And it's been crazy. It ain't like just stop being crazy. It's still crazy. If I'm Drake know it's been crazy. He do. And but but you know what he's saying? Nigga, y'all need to cut me a check. Exactly. Cause in this situation- that, num- that number one is because of me. I agree with like, that. Like make no bones about it. That number one is because of me. This fight is way past that now. I know. This fight is way better. But that still feeds my ego. Hey, the number one is over here. It's been here for It still feeds my it's, ego. It's, it's war. It's a number one as a result it's, of hey, y'all dissing me. It's your go. Nigga. It's your go. Achilles waited before he went into the joint. Remember that. Achilles waited. What you were saying, Big Mel? No, I was going to say, it's it's not really an either or situation because whenever they all drop, people are going to toggle back and forth mm. listening to what Drake puts out and then 
Future and Kendricks because they're going to want to hear like both. both sides. So it's like it really, it's not an either or situation. It's it's win 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 for everybody. It's not it? win win win. No, it, Jake Cole didn't win. Well, no, he I don't. Sorry, he didn't win anything I should, in this. Win win. I told y'all <laughs> that somebody was going to come out he of bowed this out gracefully. looking differently. You said, you, said, you said that happened quick. He did it to us. He a, volunteered himself. That's my problem with as this. tribute. <laughs> To come out of this looking differently. He probably knows Ooh. some shit is coming. And yeah, like, I, don't wanna be a, I don't want to yeah. be a part of that. You know why? Yeah. It's about and to get nasty. I, I, I don't want to be know, a part of that. I think he might have heard Drake shit. Drake shit. Mm -hmm. And said, yo, this is about to be personal. Yeah. This is going to be some shit that I don't want nothing yeah. to do with. And then sit right with him. And I don't want to make it seem like we jumping him in this personal oh, shit. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> That's not the momentum. It don't feel like a jumping. It feel like Kendrick is jumping them niggas. That's what it feel like outside. <laughs> they got jumped by him? Yes. It feel like he is pouncing on these boys. Okay. <laughs> until I'm you, looking for somebody to change it. Nah, I'm Listen, saying, we until in you now. Hear I don't what care. You, heard. Huh? you might You might hear something else that you think is going to change this. Well, thing. guess what? Friday it is, buddy. Friday it is. Now, we are, hey, for the niggas that's old enough to know, three o'clock high. <laughs> At three o'clock. <laughs> It's on outside. Yeah. That's it. I ain't got to guess or debate or speculate shit no more. Now, let, me ask a question. Now. let me ask a question. You think he do one or he's giving a pack? Who? Drake. That's what I was going to say, too. Because Drake will do that. Drake is the nigga that I'm going to put you out three Thursday pack. night and I'm going to hit you on Saturday. No, I would drop a pack on you. No, right I'm just saying I'm going to hit you Thursday night and I'm going to hit you on Saturday and I might hit you with some shit next Tuesday. Right is right, yo. Like, I, I, I could be loaded, especially if this I think one, that Kendrick scared... You rapper niggas from putting y'all voice on anything that looks like a pack responding to Kendrick. I did one of y'all. I don't believe that. I wish Lil Baby would pop up on a, on a Kendrick dispatch. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not, not saying, saying that these people are pussy. <laughs> no, no, no. I I'm saying, saying that and when it's wartime, you, you gotta find out you gotta watch what you just think. who's willing to stand next to you as you find that nigga. And I think Kendrick the already, with the, even with the cold shit, like, all right, y'all clicked up. I don't. Y'all see how I moved him out the way. Now, I don't I'm think Twenty One Savage is on that pack. If that pack exists, it ain't. It ain't feature heavy. No, I'm talking about. Do you think Drake will just give you a pack of? Oh, he what he gonna say about Ross? Oh, that's what I'm waiting for. God, yo. No, that's what I'm waiting for. What is he gonna say about? No, I don't want to see that. Look how That's conflicted you are. This you want hurt. the smoke and then you, get, you become conflicted so quick. I'm an MC, so it's always what it is is what it is. True. Once we get there, there is no turning around. That's a fact. We here now, so yo, nothing worse than a petty motherfucker with. But a But sometimes you got to shoot at a nigga. Nah, that, but the thing be, and this this is what he I told somebody go, for writers, yourself, push, uh, whoever that mm. really can write. Yeah. Right, not these rappers. I'm talking about a nigga that can really... Bro, once you compile the information, these niggas is all geniuses. But if I could get the good dirt, it takes the research to get the good dirt. And now I'm going to just put the dirt out to the world. I think the hard part maybe is not getting dirt on a nigga. Like, you might not have no good dirt on them, mm. so you can't really create carnage. I don't know what Kendrick's real life is like. I don't know what J. Cole's real life is like. You can't really destroy a nigga because you don't got that good dirt. Uh, slow down with that. A lot of people... But that's see, that's, why, of, that's, but that's, that's what I didn't like you, about... You can 100% make it uncomfortable for somebody, especially when it's wartime, and that's where it vanish Kendrick. Because Kendrick never has to go to Canada. Drake has to go to L.A. Mm. You talk... You, out, you outside of rap. I'm not talking about... Yeah, you're right. No, no, Still in rap. In, no. in, in rap. Kendrick will kiss Canada goodbye forever. Never step foot over there. Drake cannot do that with Los Angeles. I'm not disagreeing. So even his angle and how he approaches this with Kendrick is but, tricky. But now we're taking it out of rapping, yo. No, we're not. We are. We take we talking about violence. We talking about other shit that is 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 incorporated into this. I didn't country. say nothing about violence. It ain't even gotta be way. violence. I didn't say nothing about it violence. Be, no, no, listen. It could be antics. Like, for yeah. example, Push had a show. And like the front of the crowd was just, they was all Drake, Drake fans, fans yeah. and it, they made Throw that show. Water very, bottles, yeah, they made shit. that show very, just not a good experience. You just know where you welcome and know where you're not. Outside, you of just that. know what the tension is in certain places and mm -hmm. know what it's not. If nobody lays a hand on anybody, it's just some places. But it's a threat. Where, it's a potential threat of that. 
whether it happens or comes to manifest, I'm talking about the potential that this could happen is is outside of rap. I think both of these niggas move like the president. I don't think it's yeah, there. I know. And Drake has the biggest fan base on the planet. I mean, L.A. would be remiss if he couldn't come there. I don't think there's no way there's, he there's can There's no go. way that he can't come yeah, there. It's not there. That's not happening. Too much money involved. We're not talking about that. Predictions? Come on, stop being pussy. Drake Thursday night. Stop being pussy. Thursday Drake night. Thursday Come on, night. stand Thursday on the ledge. Night. And I think he bodies him. I, I think Drake comes after the, the Future Metro project. Could be wrong, but that's that's where I'm at. And I think, after after the I think if Future and I Metro go at him too. again, it's corny. Huh? What'd you say? Have the discourse. Go well, ahead. I didn't hear you. I said I think that if they keep shooting at Drake on a project, it's corny. Oh, that's happening too, by the way. That is 100. The project is for that reason. <laughs> Both of them. Both. <laughs> like, we told you we don't trust you. Yeah. Metro dish you're yeah. using Prodigy and, 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 like, this is, we don't fuck with you and I want to make it known. Okay. And now we're going to come back and you tell gonna, you again, you we gonna, still don't fuck with gonna you. You're going to smoke future boots too? Probably. Some of these niggas is easier than others. Everybody ain't got a pen like Kendrick Lamar, my nigga. Some of these niggas is going to be light work. No, we forget. Who side are you on? Give me your prediction. Drake, nigga. You're on Drake's side, and you got to come on Thursday? Yeah, before before the project. So yes. you have Drake. Okay. Or at the same time as the project. Or at the same time. Okay. Ice and I have this dropping after. I have it after. What? Shit, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, yo, Drake used to do this shit where I'm dropping three in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm not even surprised at that. But after still the project. After. Bro, I'm still That's saying still after. still after. I got a chance to listen. Okay, that's what y'all did. Cool. Now I'm gonna pop. This. I'm gonna put this out there. I wouldn't be surprised if that shit drops sooner than Thursday. Honestly, uh, if if it's on some 3 a.m. shit, you might just pop out tonight. Nigga might hit him with this. <laughs> Who do you got? Who do you 4 got? 4 a.m. in Who Seattle. Who do you got? Just predictions in the next round. Because I next... don't think this is gonna be over anytime no. soon. No, no, no. I, I think Drake is gonna drop a haymaker. Absolutely. So for, for all all parties involved. So next two records, you saying right? Drake, Drake next record. Kendrick next record. Yeah. I'm gonna give this to Drake. Canelo Alvarez, yeah. I'm giving this one to Drake. Drake? Yes, sir. Mel? Drake. Oh, Canada. You gotta go home. Oh, okay. <laughs> you gotta go home. No, just, he well, has, home, home is LA don't, too, don't. Well, he has the No, oh. it is. No, it is. He's got the momentum. And Ooh. I think Who? they. He's had time. Drake. He doesn't have the momentum. He doesn't have momentum. He, huh? got the momentum. he ain't got the no. momentum. He has yep. a. He has a three week head. running number one record right there. He yeah. definitely don't have the momentum and just ran cold out no, of No, what exactly what Park said. He has the momentum. Ex the fact that he has time, he's had time. Yeah, time. That's okay. what I mean. Okay. That's what I meant by got that. It, got it. Yeah. And shit, that is part of that is momentum because Kendrick has had the three weeks. It's not going to be number one mm -hmm. forever. Now he can step up and get a running start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yourself? I don't know. I do want to say this has been one of the best years for hip-hop in a very long time, and I want to salute that. And we're only yeah. in April, right? I want to salute mm -hmm. that. There's been fire projects. It has. We got, we got uh, Savage. We got Benny. We Q. got mm -hmm. Q. One, um, Future. Flo yeah, Flo Millie shows are. Yeah. See, those are my, still my three favorites this year so far. And we get all this? Car? Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. And well, we this. if Kendrick only did that feature, I'm in rapper brain now. If Kendrick only did that feature but dropped it, Toward the end of Drake's tour, like that looks plant. Like want to be rapper you. brain says to me, if you, like you could have just fired at that nigga while he was on tour and just put this behind you by the time he got off, but you didn't. You waited. That's why I respect it. Intentional. Yeah. I don't know if he did that. Yeah, it's intentional. I'm not saying he just got the opportunity to be on Future and them shit. He did that. Listen, from this point moving forward, assume that everything you see is intentional. Yes. Just assume it. We're talking about the biggest of big dogs here. So if he did that with his other in the tuck, if he's that type of MC that I think he is, oh, man, yo. I just think he's going to have to turn it up a notch for Drake. Mm -hmm. He's going to have to turn it up a notch. We're going to have to be a lot and more direct. Been, see, the, but I believe and he, a lot longer I think verse. he got seven. I and it's not, he, it's not feature time either. No, no, no. no. But it's his, not feature his, time his, either. Here's the thing. I think Kendrick has been begging for this moment. I think he's Drake been, writes faster than Kendrick. I keep saying that because at some point it's going to be important in this battle. Mm -hmm. It hasn't happened yet. But since Cole has removed himself and Drake is off tour with time, yeah, I just think he writes too fast. I think he makes it a hard, a hard day for Kendrick, but Kendrick may hit harder. I got to hear how Drake is coming on this record. I do. And if he come back, if he on, like if he said, on I'm, I'm right back he, on your ass in, in a couple days. If he ain't back in, you know what I mean, then... 
<laughs> yeah, listen. <laughs> pick, nigga. Yo, stop sitting on the fence. Yo, I got to hear it. I know more will be revealed. I don't know yet. I'm not picking a horse in this race yet. I we heard next round, nigga. Yeah, like we're not you talking just about told, the whole race. Told us next about, round, because this shit ain't gonna stop no time soon. Commit to one. Next round. Uh, next round. But it depends on what else I think is going on in the hip hop. So let's see. If Drake is coming now, this is in April. Kendrick has to be ready. He's ready. It will. Yeah. I believe he's ready. I think got six hours. I think that. Material. I think Drake's next punch will be felt around the world. But then I think Kendrick lets the dust settle. Really? I think Kendrick takes that heat, goes back into his cubby hole, Mm-mm. lets it know. lets nah. it settle. Mm-hmm. So he's let. I'm just giving you my. Me, no, I'm saying. No, 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 no. Let me finish. No, I want to get a hypothetical. So if Drake drops in, let's say the next two weeks, let's say Drake drops this weekend, within the next two weeks, you think Kendrick replies when June? Uh, maybe. Really? Oh, I think he comes right back. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think he lets it rock that far. But, Late okay. May. Hold on, let me just Late let me, May. Listen, he's hold on. letting that dust settle. I don't you will not. That, you but, will not see dark wing ducks cape. <laughs> no, while that, on, while that Drake Inferno is out in the streets. I'm Re- sorry. Remember, we have we we think Kendrick writes um, slower mm-hmm. because of the way he's dropped in the past. Correct? No, that's not all. Well, why, that's not all. Okay, were well, you based on some personal shit too? Yeah. Okay, then uh, never mind. I was going to say, because you got to remember, he ain't over there no more now. He's had the freedom to now I can do what the that fuck I want to do. That means absolutely nothing. Kendrick Rice slowed and Drake. I'm just, just saying the, the, the frequency of which I'm releasing music can change now if I want it to. All right, so this whole room is, is with Drake. Well, for not the next round. Well, not the whole round. room, because one for of us ain't answer. For the next round. I'm not giving it to Drake that easy. Pause. Mm. I don't know yet. I still got to hear it. I've heard I've heard the rumors from lyricists. I need to hear it for myself. So, are you saying Drake or Kendrick next round? I'm not saying none. None. Yet. You got you. We all got to pick. That's cheating. You got to pick. Well, I'm not letting you off that. Yeah, you got to pick. Uh, it's hard to go against Drake if he's in that bag. I just don't know if he's gonna be in that. It's all right, nigga. You could make he was wrong. If he was wrong, and he's gonna rap longer than Kendrick. He is. He's gonna. He's gonna rap. He got five, he's six gonna, minutes. He's gonna rap a while. He got five, six <laughs> oh, minutes. Kendrick, damn. That, no, it's the bad part. I hope the production don't fuck it up. Like you can't deny what that nigga Metro did. You can't deny that. Y'all know Kendrick can do that too, right? What? Like go for. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I'm saying like that Metro shit. That's a good song. Mm-hmm. I'll give next round, Drake. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now we can say the whole room has Drake I'll, next I'll round. Give, I'll give next round to Drake. I'm excited. But it ain't going to be easy, but No, no. I'm, I'm excited. It will be no small task ahead of you. I want that shit to drop tonight. Me too. Like, <laughs> like, I want to look at my phone and say, oh, shit, hold on, y'all, stop. We, uh-huh. <laughs> God damn. I might treat that shit like Ozark. When it, I might not even listen as soon as it drops. Oh, you crazy as hell. No, I can't. Yeah, you oh, shit, out. I, I, can't. I can't. I might go in the room, sorry, baby, but you have to wake up because this is I know that, I know all that, the speakers I know that house. y'all have the privilege of li- listening to this shit and experiencing this shit just as like a fan of music, but this stuff really weighs on my heart and soul as it, as it occurs. It does. I don't care how stupid that sounds. And I wasn't the only one feeling like that over that J. Cole apology. I'm not. So now, now that, that fact still remains. I think that Drake has the ability to make people look at Kendrick differently if he felt like it. And I think that Kendrick has the ability. Like this, this we ain't seen this, this could change We ain't seen it yet. I agree. We ain't seen it yet. These, these, these niggas is out there scrimmaging still. I think that somebody is gonna shoot somebody's head off. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm gonna be sad to see that. Just like shit. when niggas send videos to my phone and some violent shit, and I don't rush to look at. Nah, nigga, there's a chance that they both might not walk away the same person after this. What a way to go out, kamikaze, yo! <laughs> Everybody just kamikaze. You know what I'm saying? There's a way. We're blessed as fans to see this with the 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 three, the two and impossible, the two and impossible at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Just say fuck it. That's a ten. <laughs> the, the two in the pop is a just jack. like fuck it. Let's go right now. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, what, what else y'all? What else y'all got? What else y'all think is important? Unimportant? I saw, I saw a lot of um, talk about it. Just to ask y'all. Um, it's in the same topic. 
Does Future replace Cole in the big three? Oh, oh just asking. Oh God. Tyler. No, there's Tyler. not. A, no, there's not a big huh? three. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna hold you. If I'm Wale, I'm I'm sitting there like this, and I'm putting my shit out. If I'm uh, Sean, I'm sitting there no, like Sean, this. and I ain't putting shit else out no more. Sean, like, I'm fuck, telling I'm you, wait till you niggas. I would I be yeah, sitting I gotta disappear for I'm a while. I'm not entertaining none of this shit. This is malarkey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time with who's the new big three. Yeah. That's for these kids. It's a big ain't two no now. big three. It's a big two now. Yeah. yeah. It ain't no big three. It's a big two. It's a big two. It's a big two. Tyler's in the conversation, though. Of what? <laughs> big, big three Louis amazing. Vuitton. You know, it's Virgil, Pharrell, and Tyler. See, and that's there exactly why I'm not dignifying none of this big three talk. <laughs> yeah, I just had to I'm not even dignifying none of this big three <laughs> right. talk. Expound, go ahead. I don't care. I think that he has an immaculate discography. That's it? That's it. See, big three ain't where's immaculate his pen? discography. Where, where, where's his pen? His pen, he has a pen. His pen can be up there. His pen can be up there. Pen, 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 but that ain't <laughs> that ain't enough. Big to put three. You big if three. We're, if we're if we're contemplating putting, you said Wale and Future in the big three. Who? No wait. Yo, nobody on this broadcast is contemplating putting Wale in the big three. Don't say that again to make us look bad. I didn't say that he's in the big three. His name was just brought up in that conversation. Come on, name up. All right, everybody go to Starbucks. Nigga, no. He said that. Everybody go get a little croissant, latte, some shit, whatever they sell over there. We going crazy. It's this a big is not a broadcast said, that will say that. But I'm saying that if there's a big three, there's other people to put in the conversation. That's all. There's other people that would question who the fuck the big two is. True. Who? Kanye West and Lil Wayne. Yeah. Different generation. Which is why I'm not going to bring it up. Right. But they're still alive, which is why Kanye got man put his little tweet to his little <laughs> Instagram post. Hey, I'm alive, nigga. Who is these niggas y'all talking about? <laughs> the greatest ever, nigga. Yeah, for all these wait, why is up? anybody even in the same breath as me? But all right, yeah, big two for now. For got me, it. big Ken, two. It's Kendrick. It's Cole. It's rappers with the ability to sell four hundred thousand copies and up on any given day and make all of y'all think about your whole life in a flash and move out Kendrick of the way. Cole? I mean, I'm not Cole. Kendrick. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 Kendrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Not, not Cole anything. Not even Cole Slaw. <laughs> oh, shit. And I love Cole Slaw. Cole Slaw. <laughs> I think Cole Slaw gets such a bad... Not even... I can't even Cole Slaw. <laughs> no Cole Hans? Nothing Cole. No, no Cole Hans? Nothing no Cole. Cole. I ain't even, open, I ain't even open the fridge today. Cole Stone Creamery. Cole Stone... Oh. <laughs> no, I ain't no Cole Stone. Oh, man. No yeah, freezer. No nothing. It is over uh, for that. Yeah, not yeah. even a popsicle. Sorry, Cole. Hello. Yeah, might must be the Vince. What's up, Africa? This this Joe. I'm I'm live on the air, so protect your fucking Netflix relationships. Don't say nothing crazy. Hey man, you should see me in the memes. I always say something crazy. <laughs> I told my co-host that you might have wanted a word with them, but I also said before I called you that you might not stand on that. Oh, that like music day. takes are ridiculous. <laughs> they, yeah, man. it's. It's, it's borderline soft shoe, to be honest. Like, it's kind of a little coonery. Like, I get it, though. But it's like, come on. What, what we got to hold everybody yo, to the same standard, my African. What the hell do soft shoe mean? See, y'all not black like that. Was that African that said that? <laughs> if you don't know what soft shoe means, you don't need to be speaking about no black art. Yo, somebody ain't know like, what that means? I don't know what soft shoe means, bro. Joe, do you know what soft shoe means? I know what you're saying. What do I mean? Okay, that's what all I'm mean? saying. My African. That's all I'm saying, man. Y'all not fair to the artists. Y'all not fair to the artistry. Y'all got real happy when uh, niggas start rap beefing. No. But then y'all got real sad when, like, niggas lose their publishing and niggas go to jail and niggas die and all the other stuff. It's like, we either with the cooning or we not, bro. Who? who like, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold no, on. no, 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 no. Ain't nobody get happy with the rap beef. Who that, who that ish? ish. Nah, I ain't get happy with that. Yeah, you was kind of quiet. You was smiling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this, this ice. I, I said I was with the competition. I don't. I don't see this being beef. I didn't see nothing coming from this. These are two dudes that just think they're the best and gonna spar it out. That's what I expected and just didn't get it. I get that, but all I'm saying, my African is like, do we want like niggas that know how publishing work, how royalty work? Like we used to, we in this, we in this. Oh, hip hop is a sport, and then we get happy about like little stupid shit, but then we want to be like equal and respected and 
having good business acumen and shit like that. And it's like, you kind of can't have both. But I get it, though. I want to hear your publishing point. There are people out there that don't understand what your what, I'm what publishing has to do with any of this. Well, when we talk about what's the, the foundation and the pillars of, like, hip-hop music, right? Yes. A lot of people don't understand why hip-hop is utilized as often as it is and why hip-hop is being adopted into these other forms of music, right? A lot of it is to cut out musicians. A lot of it is to cut out middleman, additional artistry. A lot of it is a publishing split. When you think about hip-hop, as it originated, there was a, a technical skill that was part of every facet of hip-hop, right? Mm -hmm. You had a producer that had to dig for a sample, flip the sample, NPC, like technical aspects that kind of got pushed out in technology. And at this point, if I'm making a song and I can go to Splice and I can go to uh, Ableton, Roulette, Serato samples, all these other things, and just kind of cut out four or five people, we look at it as a sense of, oh, look at hip hop impact instead of, oh, look at them cutting us out of the pie. Um, I remember when I first met RZA, he was telling us how he sued Serato because it was his idea. And me being young, I was like, this nigga full of shit. No, but yeah, there's some truth yeah. to all of those statements. Even a 50-50 split of publishing in hip hop is something that comes from them not respecting uh, rap lyrics as actual songwriting and then them finding a way to make it fair, which makes the producer king instead of the songwriter being king. And then we have every songwriter that we've ever had in hip hop music complaining about their publishing splits. But like, we kind of don't pay attention to that. But once niggas get mad, the whole internet is activated and we got, you know, billboards from streamers talk about hip hop is a sport, but we ain't never seen a billboard from a streamer that said, get that nigga his publisher back. Or that hip hop is a business. Mm. He always on some cerebral shit. Nigga. Yeah. He's right, though. That was a great point. Sort of. He's right. Yeah. Sort but of, we, but we, not we, entirely. Get him parks. I mean, the producer is writing the music to the song, and sometimes, I mean, in a traditional sense, guiding the song, they would get publishing. You think they deserve 50%? You. But what I'm saying is if you Diane Warren and you a songwriter and they know you the songwriter that's bringing people to this thing, you get to pick what you give out. And even the sense of publishing being derivative of what actually can be written down on sheet music, and that's developed over time, but let's talk about it at the conception of what publishing is up being. That in itself sounds like gatekeeping or separation. Now when you think about what hip hop is essentially, most niggas walk in with a notebook full of rhymes and they should, it, I'm not going to say nobody's name, but it's artists right now who are very big artists in pop that they not giving nobody no publishing unless they feel like it. True. Because you came to my session because I'm who I am, but they also operate fully independent and it's also stories about them going to the label and buying their whole shit back. Mm -hmm. But a lot of that comes off the leverage we have as a songwriter, now think about, you know, producers in hip hop and how many of these producers didn't actually make the beats. And I don't know Quincy Jones shit because it's different. Like I said, they took the instrumentation out right away. So a lot of these producers aren't making the beat, but then they given the real producers of this shit, they rate to session musician. So they don't own shit. And we just act like it don't happen and be like, it's part of the game when this shit ain't a game. How does that it's correlate to war? Because it's not war. Why, 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 why are we at war with the nigga that's making a song and not the motherfucker who own the whole thing? We don't say their name at all. We quiet when they do some fuck shit. Man, I'm talking, about, I'm talking they, about rat beef. I'm not talking about with the fired. owners of this shit. I'm talking I'll about rat beef. They, we yeah, don't rat beef, Vince. No, but we don't have rap labels no more. But nobody said nothing about that. Nobody want to talk about these labels fold into another and then fire 50% of people. Fire hip hop radio people at these labels that's been working there for 20, 30 years. That's not war, all right? Good point. I'm saying it's a war on hip hop. You're <laughs> like, come on, nigga. Good point. You're saying, you're saying our attention is being diverted <clears throat> again. Mm -hmm. 
That's I'm what you're saying. saying. We don't want to pay attention. I don't think that is just some conspiracy. I think we just in the bullshit. And um, it's true. just funny because a month ago, it was it was public knowledge. They fired 50% of a lot of these labels that are, you know, leaning hip hop. And it was had his billboard articles, all their articles. Nobody said shit about that. I just think it's interesting what we pay attention to and what we don't pay attention to. And I, and then we get mad when we end up, you know, not having shit in the long run. Where it's happening right in front of our face. But we can point out every sneak dish. But we don't mm-hmm. pay attention when the streaming rules change. We don't pay attention when the payouts change. We don't pay attention when the labels change. We talk about y'all all that too, about, though. We talk, y'all talk about AI as far as songwriting your production. You should be talking about AI when it's time to do admin, when it's time to craft contracts. That's, that's, that's really when it's going to get wicked. Because they got fired too. The niggas that are doing admin for record labels might not exist no more. Which all the all the Rockefeller rules and all the other shit we talking about that was based off a motherfucker seeing something potentially because they come from something and giving these people opportunities to kind of orchestrate their own business. I don't think the computer gonna see that. And we talk about living in police space and CCTV and how all these other things orchestrate and fuck up what we got going on. And we literally just saw these niggas destroy. We seen niggas pulling catalogs off of streaming services. It's a whole bunch of sick shit that's way crazier going on. Than the death so, of you know, J. Cole? <laughs> come on, bro. Like, what are we talking about? And if yeah, the death of J. Cole, even as verbiage, is just crazy to me. Yeah. <clears throat> no, but what can you say? About. I'm really like that, so I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I, so, hey, listen. <laughs> nigga died out there. You die, you die. I hear what you're talking about. And I talk about all of those things, too. I respect those things, and they're all super important. I agree with you. More attention needs to be paid to those areas. But we're going to talk about that J. Cole apology, nigga, and what it did for the competitive nature of hip-hop. That's the problem. You L.A. niggas, y'all don't compete. Y'all just rob niggas, shoot niggas, kill niggas. <laughs> y'all ain't got time for competition. See how everything I say to you, you respond with such a heavy heart, like such a loaded, substantive fucking monologue. Well, well I mean, I care about niggas, though. <laughs> I care about niggas. Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's fair when only the niggas got to lose in hip-hop since the beginning of time. What right. white boy has ever lost in the business? All right, I'm hanging up with you, buddy. <laughs> exactly. You niggas don't want to talk about it. Y'all have fun, man. Make sure, make, make sure when you make sure when you shuck and jive, you pour the salt on the ground. Mass it like a soft shoe. Mass it like a soft shoe. Oh, that's a soft shoe, yo. Oh, oh my man. Tap dancing. Oh, yo, man. What you doing, Vince? I'm, I'm at this racetrack right now doing a scout for this uh for some shit. I'm finna shoot. But yeah, man, I love y'all. You know what I mean? I love y'all. We love, love you too, too man. Sure. Don't 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 depress us with all of this real dark, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this nigga's brain, I, man. Get out of here with that Vince Stable show shit. I love y'all, man. Keep jigging and booing, man. We need y'all. <laughs> oh, now I'm banging it on you. Fuck yeah, out of here. Oh, shit. <laughs> love, nigga. Uh, that's shit, that's the problem with booing. the iPhone. Hang up. They don't hear you. Hang up. You need, the, you need the, the, the yeah. foldable shit. Oh man, keep jigging them boys. Fucking so heavy funny. brained ass <laughs> nigga. Yeah, man, come in and talk about. Word, I'm like, I'm just trying to hear what he was going. I'm yeah. like, all right. I get his bubble. I, I, I do no. get his bubble shit, boy. Uh, he's right. He's, he's sort of. He's, 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 he's right in some of it. Some of it seemed a little anti producer, which I'm not really 100% with. But that wasn't his point. That, yeah. that wasn't his point. <laughs> his point was only in hip hop does that rule exist. The, that with the it. producer gets 50 50, really? and then the rapper gets 50. That's what he was saying. That's not in RB and all the other shit? RB it does. Yeah, RB it does. Black music. And you pop. get the right writer in, in RB and music. I mean, uh, and pop. Anything outside of hip country. Anything. Pop. Now, right. I don't know because I'm only hip hop. Right. Gotcha. I'm only. My I've experience is the producer the other has world to get to know 50. that the producer gets 50. It's a current mm-hmm. music industry model as opposed to a hip hop only model. Once we got into programming beats and the producer is the sole creator of the music, at least in theory, whether it's samples or bringing musicians in, mm. that model changed from songwriter being the person that wrote the piano melody and the vocal melody and the lyrics. In a future episode, I can just call one of these publishing, publishing companies and they can tell me. Yeah, that's a deep conversation that it would be interesting to have. I don't think it's the time. Yeah, J. Cole is lying on the ground in front of us. <laughs> Nobody is doing With a self-inflicted <laughs> wound. <laughs> <laughs> I feel him though. It hurts. To, it hurts to talk about Cole like this. Yeah, it hurts to talk about Cole like but this. Cole did it. Yeah, but it still hurts. That's my. Still hurts. Cole will be out. It would. It would have hurt me if Cole went out there and got smoked. 
then we have to come in here like, damn, dog, we didn't expect. But you walked out there and took the sword and, like you said, showed up. You did, you did, go did out there that. Smoke. <laughs> he just <laughs> he went right out there and got smoked. He rolled he himself jumped in, in the, the pack. For real. That was a good pre- show. Too. Nigga pre rolled himself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, y'all want to talk about uh, Meek versus Wale? All right, we can. Come on, let's do it. Um, the Eclipse, uh, Mercury <laughs> Retrograde. Meek, Everything Meek was in action. On everybody, Meek fired on Cruz. Shout out to he Cruz. Did, did. Now he's firing on me, uh, uh, Wale. Wale. Um, oh, what's going on, there was, a, there was a photo because Wale was at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. A bunch of photos went up and stuff. And then that's one of the photos Meek ain't like who he was in the picture with. It was the Mark Rubin dude, right? No, nah, he was in no. the picture with the dude with Dean. Yeah. Ah. Uh, that used to be down with Meek and them. Oh. At WrestleMania is what it looked like. Yeah. yeah. And it was a lot of people at WrestleMania. And again, WrestleMania is in Philly. It's in Philly. So I'm, you know, I'm here. This one is tricky for me. Meek be jumping off the jumping off the handle. But I do get it. I get it. But what you get? If 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 I don't have a problem with this person, I don't care. If one of you niggas leave this pod and take a picture with somebody who has been defaming my name for months and speaking about me just in a reckless manner, I'm calling one of y'all. I'm calling you afterward. Are you going on your platform and, and shitting on them publicly? I would call one of y'all, is what I'm saying. Well, that's the difference. I, that's, that's, that's the difference. That's a, good, that's a good point. Yeah, but Meek is... And... Bad. Meek is... Be, oh, be clear. I don't believe that Meek is managed properly daily. And I think that that's one of the pitfalls that comes along when you are managed by one of these big companies mm. with hundreds of people on mm. the staff. Nobody's calling you personable directly. to you for when you're wilding on your phone for just some of those decisions that you make that proper, a proper management and surrounding would never let how Meek moves happen like that. Yeah. But he, he's on his own accord. He's independent. That's the thing we say. And yes, what an independent yes. means is cutting cut a corner oh, here yeah, and there. That's a good point. And these publicists are expensive. Well, Meek said it. Somebody, Let me tell you, because I tried uh, to level up in terms of publicists. <laughs> I'm telling you. Y'all wouldn't believe it. No, you told me. Mm, you told yeah, us. PR is expensive. You talked about it. I don't think I said it on air. Yes, you did. PR is For expensive. For real? You talked about it. It was six-figure expensive. You told Not me. the ones. <laughs> 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 it wasn't a quick little honey grand. 150 grand. Like these these companies, they expensive. So Meek is without that, and it, it looks like he's without well, that. Well, he said there was a there was a young lady who tweeted him and was like, yo, I would like to apply to be your publicist. Like, I guess she's running out her credentials, or whatever. And he responded and said, Yo, I've always had my I've always been my own publicist. I don't have a publicist. That's I do clear. this. And then it it clicked like to a and lot of people. And that's cat. Yeah, yeah, you can see before he did have one. And that's Cap. Well, because when you're signed to a label, well, you're you signed to a publicist. label, so you yes. have a publicist. Yes. You signed to fucking MMG, they signed to Atlantic, or they signed to Warner, there's, mm-hmm. a, publicist there's a publicist responsible. Involved. When you do something stupid, believe you me, the corner office made a phone call to somebody, and that person made a call to somebody that's going to call your ass. That That's a fact. But off that, back to our original point. Stop uh-huh. being your own publicist, too. Stop. Like, if you have a history of... Joe Button, Meek Mill, Wale. You don't see how Wale is just quiet? Mm-hmm. Even how he responded to the Meek shit was, oh my God, you're filled with so much vitriol. It's like, <laughs> it was like one of those fucking earthy, <laughs> my soul is right responses. You know Wale be on his poetry shit. <laughs> but he didn't used to do that. Publicists are important. I want to shout out the publicists out there. Mm-hmm. Meek well, needs a publicist. What, what I was saying was... Um, but I'm with him on the beef. And our original example... If I'm cool with somebody you're not cool with, or I take a picture with somebody you're not cool with, you said you would call one of us after the show. It's more than not cool now, with. Each of y'all do that every day of your lives. This okay, is not about not being cool with somebody. It's not. Somebody on a public tyrant, yeah, on to, a mission to seek, to, to kill and destroy my me, my rep, my likeness, how I earn and how I feed my kids. Somebody is doing three hour plus interviews about that. I'm not talking about y'all taking a pick with somebody I ain't the flyers with. I don't care about that. But what well, my point was, we don't know what Meek and Wale's relationship is. I don't give a fuck what it is. No, I'm just saying in terms of I don't care what I it is. I don't fuck with you. I don't I don't I don't y'all care. know that's my man. I, I don't ask him. But isn't questions. that important? I don't talk to what me about that. Meek and that matters. Wale's that matters, relationship yo. is? No, it don't. That matters to me. Yes, it does. That matters yeah. a lot. Because if I don't fuck with you, then I don't give a fuck who I take a picture with. Exactly. 
If that is the case, I'm not saying that is the case. But if I don't fuck with you, then Why I'm gonna take a picture. And if I'm cool, is- if I'm still cool with that person who ain't never did nothing wrong to me, and I don't fuck weed, me and you don't fuck with each other at all, oh, and I just happen to see cool. them, I didn't go out and rob my what, but I happen to see them, and we just group up and took a pic. That's still what y'all, y'all with one this second. What y'all saying was at the root of my slaughterhouse beef. At the root of the slaughterhouse beef was I don't fuck with y'all, and y'all clearly don't fuck with me. However, we have a business mm-hmm. and a brand mm-hmm. that we split and that drives in income. Correct. The second that y'all go out and publicly say, they don't care that we privately don't fuck with each other. The second y'all publicly let it be known that we don't fuck with each other, you just, drove our, you just drove our brand in the building. There's nothing that Meek and Wale could do to separate their brand. Mm-hmm. It's tied forever. It's forever tied. They done changed labels. They done changed management. They done changed partnerships. And there's still nothing that could happen to separate the two. Meek said it in his reply. Yo, dog, I seen you over here. I seen you over here. You was just with my kid. You was just around him. They are going to end up in the same circles. I agree with that. But publicly, separating the brand part, I disagree. The brands are the brand. You, You can't separate it. Wale got a whole new team, new management, new label, new everything, mm-hmm. and still, you are MMG. Even if both of y'all are not MMG, y'all had a time on MMG. Y'all did. Y'all done did the beef already, y'all done pieced it up, y'all beefed again, y'all pieced it up. Mm-hmm. So clearly, both of y'all see how it affects your business when y'all two do that. It looks bad. It's a stain. It would be the same as me and Royce today, not tied to each other at all, doing something like that. Perception wise, not in real life. True. Okay. Not in real life. Okay. Perception wise. The one thing gotcha. I agree with okay. you. While they yeah. can't take that picture at WrestleMania with dude and think that Meek is not gonna feel no type of way. I don't know what y'all talking about. No, no, well, I'm not, saying y'all, I'm not yeah. saying y'all saying that. I'm not saying y'all saying that. But I'm what I'm saying is if I if I don't again be clear because I don't want nobody saying ISIS speak. I, I did not talk to him about this. But if I don't fuck with you, I do I care what you think about? If me and you are at odds, fuck that. I don't fuck with you. We just ain't, we got our static or whatever. You're not my mans no more. Then I don't care. Whatever. I don't give a fuck how you feel about okay. that picture. I agree with that. From what transpired, it don't look it like Meek like had that. that memo. It looked, for him, he's responding like the rug was pulled from under me. And I thought that no matter what our friction was, it would never get to a level where you would publicly endorse Someone the nigga that's, that's trying to take like that's this. trying to take my head off. I, I no. see. Mm-hmm. I see. The Sometimes thing. you got beef with niggas when you don't think they're gonna take it there. Mm-hmm. Like, why would you take it there? It's just said on one of the recent podcasts. Even if me and him ain't talking, and somebody come up to him and say something, that, no, right. you're not gonna like, you're not gonna do that, right? Right. Like those lines were crossed and blurred. So I feel Meek on being angry about that. Mm-hmm. Now I also feel Wale on nigga. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. And. This has gotten way past the Meek Wale level. Is street shit involved in this yeah, now? Yeah, so I, I don't even I, I, really yeah. want to cover it too much further. Yep. But yeah, they're doing some DC Philly shit. Niggas just talking I, crazy. It's, it's I'm seeing some I of the see. other names yeah, involved yeah, now, yeah. and I'm going to respect it and, 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 and leave I it alone. Niggas just chill out, man. For real. Solar eclipse. Oh, yeah, yeah man. man. Solar eclipse. Yeah. And Y'all ain't buy no glasses? Nigga, <laughs> Ray Bans. Yeah. Already had. Yo, it. they they got you, dumb niggas. Yo, them shits was sold out. How much they go? Everywhere. I don't even know. They're All cheap. I kept seeing They're was cheap. Si- yeah, little just, paper shit. They still got you, niggas. I didn't get one. It was signs everywhere. Yo, we are out of solar eclipse glasses. I'm in CV. I wasn't yeah. looking for them, but they got the big ass sign. Are we out? Did y'all watch it? I did. I Everybody, outside. I watched it. The I clouds outside. fucking fucked up our little partial you, eclipse. For sure. Did you go outside? Did I you did, have an I, eclipse party? I Come did, on, give I me did, something. I didn't go to a party. <laughs> I went outside. I looked up clouds. I was like, all right, fuck it. Had Balcony little- <laughs> or outside on the street? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I, up. I was in the park. I was in the park. I was in the park. Naturally. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. in my yard yeah. with my cat. <laughs> you seem to be bothered by that shit. I was like, well, if the animals don't care, then why should I Daisy didn't give a fuck. Yeah. You know, usually some natural... Disaster shit happens. People, yeah, they animal to monitor your chill, I mean, monitor your cat or your dog or any animals to see if their behavioral patterns he was chilling. change. There was a guy in a bat reported. cave. Nothing fucking happened. Bro, the bats took, didn't do shit. This shit. They was changing the, the school let outs for this. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it was wild. Schools that was letting out on, right around that 340 time. They're like, no, we keeping the kids until 4 o'clock. We don't want no, uh, come pick them up. We don't want them standing outside. Like, they treated this shit like it was a big deal. I mean, it was kind Out of here. a big fight. Well, well, for kids, it makes sense because if you can potentially get injured by it, looking at dark. the sun, you don't want the kids so. out there being reckless. I get that. 
Little Clips kids was, not gonna follow the rules. But the shit was boring. I mean, Clips at least was in New made, York. yo. I'm yeah, gonna say that clip was made. It made. It was made in New York. I did see some footages of other places where it went completely blackout darkness. That's awesome. We upstate. didn't get that here. Yeah, yeah. Upstate, upstate, upstate yeah. Or Pennsylvania. Um, well, I, I saw Mexico, Texas, Mexico, 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 Arkansas. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> that shit in Mexico. Oh, Cleveland was fire. Cleveland, yeah. Ohio. Okay. Yeah. They said they had a real, real, real good view. They, they had a clear sky. Dave Chappelle had some shit in his crib, and they had the view. Like, that's. Well, had a path that it was following. I'm black. Care about that shit? All right, all you Mike Woods is great. Thank you for that yeah. <laughs> view around the world of how it felt. <laughs> Did you feel the viewing? It was dope. <laughs> I don't care. I'm, I'm black, fam. I didn't care about that fucking eclipse. I was hanging sheet rock. Mm-hmm. Well, we weren't really in the path of like. And what did the I'm black part have to do with that? Like, you think black people didn't care? We're not focused on that. People don't give a fuck about no eclipse, bro. <laughs> Y'all think that's true? Yes. Yeah, Back in the days, niggas ain't getting no glasses when they told us it's the clips. You going right outside, they look at the <laughs> sky. Nigga. Nobody, nothing happened to our eyes. Shit, my African. Yeah. Yo, yo. <laughs> niggas fall right for the propaganda. Boy, don't put me down with that bullshit, y'all niggas. I don't give a fuck. Any clips. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Clips, I, I'm a clips moon, happens since niggas. All was, that shit they be talking about. How much clips happens since niggas was kids? Niggas was right outside and looked up. Like this. Take a picture. The stupid ass next tails and those motherfuckers. Exactly. Roll a look. Said that the Samsung, Samsung nothing phone happened, really nigga. gets the real... Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to support black people being into science. <laughs> like, oh, nothing happened. No, for real, you niggas is Neil deGrasse Tyson problem. <laughs> nigga, the cloud. <laughs> y- y'all exactly who he got smoked with and why more black people won't get into science. But to your point, them niggas that was over there on the promenade with the binoculars and the telescope, they wasn't black. <laughs> they wasn't black. And I picked a different spot away from dudes. Away from, you know what I mean? All them telescope niggas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, all right, I was just standing over here. By yourself. Up. I wasn't by myself, but I was looking up. Shades on. Mm-hmm. A little vibe. <laughs> Come on, City Girls. <laughs> city yeah. Girls. Yeah. More Eclipse Beef. City Girls. Come on, you got to tell us this one. Uh, nothing for me to say. They finally got into it. Uh, on the timeline, my favorite place for people to get into it. Absolutely. Uh, I still don't have all the details of what they were actually beefing about, but... Good to know that there was indeed beef. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Where does this start? Who knows where this start? Oh, shit. They was bugging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This was JT. Okay. Carisha said that JT has been dissing her in songs and no she records. has not been replying. Mm-hmm. Uh, girl, if it was a diss, why you been on your story making videos and singing both songs? No, no, Joe, 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 Joe. This is City Girls beef. Come on, man. I'm at the City Girls. You got to put the, the voice. voice. Come on, dog. Oh no, that they, they was on there. They was doing that shit for hours. But a I couple of the teams got to be the voice, though. Hell, I'm not playing with uh, them. Come on, I'm not that? even playing. I'm too sad over this J Cole <laughs> shit. I can't even be myself. <laughs> no, uh, JT, I need a memes folder. Uh, I need a memes folder. I'm so lame. I be knowing I want to post and can't find, can't find it. Y'all send me the one with the girls running past Joe Scott, please. Yes, pray for me. Okay, here we go. Reread what I said. No, Glock loaded with extended clip. Glock loaded with extended clip. Okay, thanks, JT. And, oh, he's talking. <laughs> See, they did this for hours. Sorry, hold up. <laughs> JT, it'll be too much for me to tweet. I will like a sit down. Carisha, please. And this time leave Santana at home. Because Young Miami popped up and said, a bitch been sneak dissing me for weeks, and I ain't say shit. What a bitch mad at me for? And JT said, oh, Miss Mama, this is your last day playing dumb. Now, to her point, JT been getting killed and crucified on on. Just socials before yeah. any of this. Like yes, she went true. through it with Glorilla. Mm-hmm. She been in beef on Twitter and Instagram, and Carisha's nowhere to be seen ever. That's mm. true. She she always People loses, it. she always loses her phone and she pops back up saying, Hey, uh, what I miss. <clears throat> so I think her saying, Oh, Miss Mama, this is your last day playing dumb is hilarious. Uh, she went on, What happens in the dark always comes to light. Reread mm-hmm. what I said in case you didn't comprehend the first time. And I was for sure there for her from the beginning. But y'all will see this in time that I am not, never was, and never will be the problem. Have a nice day. This is all JT. I know I come off crazy, but never in my life did no whack shit to this girl. She literally enjoys seeing me being dragged. When people show me love, she goes crazy and call it a hate train. But like I said, we can sit and talk about it. Uh, which songs are about you? Then it just went back and forth. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah. It's too much. I can't read all this. They went, they went back and forth for, for a long time. A while. For a long time. But they spoke. Mm-hmm. They pieced it up. They squashed it. Shared some I love yous. Said I love you. And 
That's that's that. Grand opening, grand closing. Yeah, that's it. And they still didn't spill the real tea, so I, it's nothing for me to say here. This this is nothing but the girls' trip to Miami. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, they 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 was cool. They get there on the way back. Now they got the fight. Mm-hmm. They don't fuck with each other, but they be cool again next week. I'm enjoying watching both of them go solo though. Like just see how they're going about their solo careers. I am enjoying that. I, any thoughts on Glorilla versus JT? The sleeper you played uh, last pod, as soon as we left, that was the sleeper that, that caused the friction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, the record was I, uh-huh. featuring Kevo Money. And, hard record, too. Yeah, the record I, was hard. One of my favorite ones on that, on that project. Um, the line she has, it says, I just pray one day the bad chicks, you know, I don't say the word, uh, would come together because Cardi and Nicki on the track would break some fucking records. Me and JT ain't the best of friends, but we ain't beefing. No chicks always having Anna. Oh, and I guess animosity that they keep a secret. So JT responded to that like, yo, dog, we don't fuck with each other. Like, and it just escalated. Mm. Threats, you know, um, Gorilla was saying how you've you been in back and forth to jail. Mm. JT puts up her mug shots, her eight mug shots with an empty spot for number nine <laughs> and circled it. I thought that shit was funny. <laughs> That's fuck. See JT says, shut the fuck up, you little big head bitch. You ain't got no body and you whack. Shut up. We had whatever we had and that was that. You ain't snuff nobody, you pussy. Yeah. I'll set it on you. I'll go back. Yada, yada, yada. Glorilla said, bitch, I already punched you in the face. Shut up. You whack. <laughs> it's over for you. I'll bop you upside the head again. Yeah. And that's what they did. See, Vince. The Eclipse. See, Vince. The Eclipse. That's retrograde. Mer- 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 Mercury is in retrograde. Mercury was in Gatorade. <laughs> yeah. You can't put Mercury in the It eclipse. is a royal rumble outside. It is. That's it. It is the purge. If you step outside, know that the laws have changed this year. I see people uh, crediting Cat Williams, the ghost of Cat Williams, the energy of Cat Williams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He put it out there for 2024. Everybody is on bullshit. Top uh, of the year, he said yeah. it right off. Too. Everybody's on bullshit. Even Manscaped. Hey, man. Uh, I ain't going to take this time to punch down. I'm not. Yo, it did feel good sep- to jump in the foray. Separate yourself, bro. Huh? Be, you're, be you're, bigger. You're a mogul in the making. Separate I'm not yourself. punching down. I'm not punching down. But... <laughs> you pushing me up? Yeah. You want me to say it? I mean, it just you sounds you? like I said it online. You want for me to say it for you? I tried to because I'm like I don't even want you. To, yeah, and I go to Richmond a lot. Stop, I don't want, you know what I mean? I am not punching down, and I'm more respected in Virginia than him. I'm not going through this. <laughs> Trust me, my Virginia past is not at risk. It's not jeopardized. There's nothing going on. Listen, I went on tour with Tech 9 many, many, many years ago. Shout out to the great Tech 9. Uh, I don't know why you ain't been here yet, but we'll get to that at some other time. Mm. And he was just telling me, I've told the story before, how, how words have meaning, and he'll never play with words like that. He started telling me about an album that he dropped that was titled Death Something. Death Surrounds Me, or just something that was gloomified like that. And in the following months, he lost three to four people that mm. were the most important to him. And he said, from that point on, I'll just never even, even in the spirit of art, name something a certain way because mm-hmm. these things do have Pop a tendency to come, come to life. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is no more apparent than J. Cole with this I might delete later leading into yeah. the fall off, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. it couldn't be any more apparent with a nigga named Mad and Skills. <laughs> yes. Angry skills. <laughs> you and all your skills sit there and be perturbed. And stop talking about me. I'm not punching down, so I'm not even going to segment this because all the blogs start talking about mad skills for the first time since 88. <laughs> now I'm mad that you get to use my name, likeness, and equity to be a thing again. You got to be careful not to make things things again that you don't want to be things again. No, it really mm-hmm. pissed me off. So I'm not Stop making a thing a yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, Don't make a thing a thing. Don't the thing it. ain't a thing. Mm-hmm. Mad skills is half an ant. <laughs> Mad skills is like fucking. I don't even want to disrespect it. I used to listen to this nigga, so I want to be nice. But mad skills is like, don't make it a thing. So there, I'll leave it alone. I made it half a thing. Okay. 
Growth. Okay. But I was making a yeah. point before I started talking about dude. What was I talking about? I it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. JT and, JT and, and yeah. sure. it don't even, oh, I was just saying I'm happy to jump out there for a little bit. I see a lot of <laughs> niggas trying to include themselves in shit that they don't they don't really want no parts of, yo. When these when when Drake and Kendrick really get to going, y'all really hope everybody just moves far away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stand back. Mm-hmm. Grant mm-hmm. them niggas 200 feet of space. Just yeah. shut up. Just move. Let, Stay let, away let, from the let, blast let, zone. Let the fight finally happen. Let it happen. Don't try to stop it. Don't get on the phone. Don't coerce niggas. Don't start talking your street shit, threat shit. I'm going to kill. I'm going to fuck you up. Let them two dudes box this out. This has been a long time coming. Do you think, um, you know, especially on, on the Drake side, like we said, we does he address raw shit like that? Do you think any of them? Drake got to address everybody. No, I'm just saying. Do you, if you're and for him, the way niggas is telling me in in the street, it sound like it don't sound like one dude caught it. It sound like everybody got it? it. That's what it sounds like. Again, these people's ears that heard this could be dick riders. They could have a different gauge than than myself. I might mm-hmm. hear it and think differently. The people that do, let's say they do catch it. Mm-hmm. But I'll you tell you, any of them say something back. But I will tell you, no. Okay. No, I think most of these niggas is pussy. They ain't gonna say nothing to Drake. Got it. What I will tell you though, even if I'm not to believe these rumors I've heard about this this, this track, the patterns show me that it exists. Like anytime Drake start just leaking shit to academics, anytime he just start posting pictures that just exude a certain amount of confidence, like there's not a threat out there in the universe, it's recorded already. Mm-hmm. When you see him looking sad, it ain't done yet. He's mourning what he got to do to one of you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and I do think it's going to hurt Drake having to swing at Kendrick the way he has to swing at him. But I think Drake, Drake is on his heel. He's a heel now. He's a and, heel. And bro, it's, evil, it's evil Drake time. There's the part that Kendrick has been swinging at him for years. Again, you, you've been swinging for a long time. Eight plus, you've been swinging. They've been jabbing at each other. My God, punch your little brother. You might, have mm-hmm. to, you might have to punch him. And I do think if there is somebody that, and this is not to take away from any of these gentlemen's accomplishments or anything, but I do think Drake can little bro him on a record. I do. I, I I go back. Hey, listen. I'll put you on that tour, that first tour. You were on my Take Care album. I, I kind of brought you in here, even though you had your own name. But me being where I was with those projects in that tour, I can little bro you. If Drake says something like, I brought you in this world and I could take you out. <laughs> I'm telling you. I, 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 he he can take that angle with him, dog. I'm not coming to work the next yeah. day. <laughs> no, we paywalling. I'm not coming to work the next day. Oh, yeah, or paywalling. My, my, pay, he, my he, paywall if later. If you get on a track talking <laughs> to Kendrick Lamar like that, I'm fam. Nigga, I'll go to the fucking Raptors game. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, how can I fucking pay my fucking respect to Canada, nigga? Yeah, Who great from Canada? Give me somebody. Vince Carter, quick. nigga. What you talking about? Vince Carter. Who else from Canada? Canada's great? Vince Raptors Carter. About? Yeah, oh, we're just talking about Raptors. Oh, Vince Carter. What would you say about Vince Carter? Well, we're just Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, get are we just, just going to like... You better like, move. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better move. You better move. Sniper Oh, man. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ryan Reynolds. Lip. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, Ryan yeah. Gosling. <laughs> Look at her. Hey, go ahead. Go, go bitch, go. <laughs> Mike Myers. Pam Anderson. Oh, man. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Need that list. Need that, need that list. That list coming handy, right? Ain't it? That's a good little list. Sure Anywho. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that so much fun like the Shoot. unsaid jokes? All right, moving on. Um... Well, you're talking about Glorilla. Have y'all seen the, the, the challenge that her and Meg has spawned on the internet? Have. Salute. Salute. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Thank you. That's so horny. <laughs> That's what, horny? What is, what's the challenge? Parks is horny. Twerking. I'm not twerking. Yeah. It's a twerking challenge. Yeah. For the, for the record that they have. But the women have all been having a field day with it. I yes. thought it started with uh, Carisha and, um, and Ari. I thought it started with Johnny Blaze. Mm-hmm. I saw Meg pop a video and it went crazy for it me. It was just recently. Meg mm-hmm. just dropped it like two days ago the, or something The song like that. just dropped. 
The twerking shit has no, been it I'm has twerking. been Ari and and Carisha going back. I'm not going to fight about anything. Can not, we just I'm get to the twerk? twerk. <laughs> I'm just please. saying that it's not a fight. <laughs> there has been yes, you're correct. But people have been not now. The women are nominating other women, like the the to let women are, yo. I you got to do one next. Mm. Like um, somebody they called Lotto out. Lotto jumped out and did one. Damn sure did. <laughs> oh, and I'm horny. horny ass. <laughs> <laughs> I seen it. I saw it. <laughs> I was stopped peeling the water bottle. Nah, I, was yeah. that one. I was shocked that she did that. <laughs> Salute. Salute. That's why I just asked y'all saw. Okay, yeah, well, listen, do you we have win, a winner? Do you have a winner? No, I won. Uh, okay. <laughs> you're, you're the winner. Everyone wins. <laughs> yeah. That's um, my saved search. You won because Glorilla got to shaking some ass? <laughs> I, that one too? I'm waiting for Corley Ray. <laughs> oh, God. I, can I nominate some folk? Yeah, please. please. No. Oh, oh, okay. Please not right now. Right. Do it on your on your own cameo somewhere. <laughs> Don't come in here. Hey, hey, do no more cameo oh, jokes. Yeah, Twitch. Do yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. <laughs> on nice Twitch. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start coming in naming a whole bunch of skinny bitches. <laughs> oh shit, man. Oh man. And I'll I'll skip the my thoughts on man. What are your thoughts on on the girls twerking? You always get to skip the girly shit. Yeah. Mm. You ain't get to twerking out no, there. The no, the fuck year old I ass. am not. Nope, 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 nope. Getting that rooted no in Tudor shaking. Fucking no. Ah, shaking that old. Mm. Home. <laughs> Bitch, why you want to look at me? Shaking that haunted housewife <laughs> ass. <laughs> oh, shit. She asked you a question, big dog. Stretching. Stretching. <laughs> you don't think that I could. Hey, man, in a circle. The man over there is mm-hmm. addressing you. Yeah, I know, but talking. you're avoiding. Yeah, she's talking, she talking to you. Though. Yeah, you're, you're clearly avoiding. Everybody else is looking over here. Right you're looking you. that way. Okay. You don't think I can throw it in a circle? Uh, you, Whoa, you, this in is... a circle? <laughs> no, 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 there are good grievances. Let's I go. Because he wasn't the most agile in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> she only threw pro- the rock. Only probably it, it was we, accurate. It was accurate. Yeah, that, yeah. Under, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> they already tore me up. I don't know how I lose. How did it do that? You yep. can't win. That's why. You couldn't. You, I, I can't like, never win. I think it's because you lead with I'm an empath and then you proceed to like fucking eviscerate somebody. And people but are like, oh, you're so misrep- you, wait, you are misrepresenting me. Mm. I, I, I say that I'm an empath and I led with some empath shit, which is I, <laughs> I didn't did see it. it. Yeah. Okay. Because I knew how you may feel in the event. And I know me. I know that I can't keep the lid on the truth. <laughs> I can't. Sometimes the truth is so juicy. Nah, I think it's real nice. And it. another thing. And then. <laughs> and when I went home. All the, that is not empathic. And yes, when it I, is. It's, it's really fucking not. I yes, it is. No, it's in the not. beginning. He tried I to be empathic to your feelings. Oh, my God. No, you it's begged empathic. for our review. And you flipped it. You said. You looked at me. You said. You watch everything. <laughs> she did. She would not let you. You had a the whole room. month. You see it all. How could you? Da, 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 da. So that actually ties into one of Ice's grievances, I think, that you see yes. everything. All right, yes. all right, Ice. Get into <laughs> yes. your shit. Get your grievances off. All right, so I have two grievances. Um, I'm going to get to you later. Pause. That's Flip you're talking That's to. That's Flip. Joe, my grievance with you is you sent the text message to the group chat and said, <laughs> Yo, y'all should watch Gerard Carmichael. Episode two. Yes. So I say, okay, cool. My man saying, watch it. It must be something I need to see that we could discuss, and then. And you watched episode one. I did watch episode one. So you know what the topic. I was the- good off the show off episode one. I think I saw everything I needed to see that says this might not be the show for me. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with nothing else, but cool. Mm-hmm. But my man sends this message. All right, what do I do? I'm going to go watch the show. Sure. Well, y'all told me last time that if I see something and I want to talk about it on the pod, that I should shoot y'all a text. Yes, Yes, you did. Yes, I I very much appreciated that. that. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's what the emoji was for, too. Now, I didn't send you the text because I got you. (laughs) (laughs) This was was get back. But everybody else should probably check this out. 
Because if I had to see it, <laughs> yo, he's one of those. my brother. He's one of those. If I had to see it, wait, 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 somebody wait. else had we to see caught. it. Wait, wait, wait. We caught. Sorry. Why is Ish exempt? <laughs> yo, 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 Aki. Because he has man. Because he has an Android. Uh, so you can't just send an additional text like nah. outside the group chat saying, "Watch this shit." What? This nigga just want me to be. <laughs> you gotta be there. Yeah, yeah, word. Why do you keep shooting at him? I'm uh, not like, shooting at him. Why you keep focusing? Why you keep focusing on him exactly? Because no, that was a question. You you exempted him from the situation. My man. I'm curious Good as look. to why. Uh, yo, because he didn't need to see that. to the people. Yeah, that's, oh, I'm sure oh. Ice wants to know why oh, the fuck wait. he didn't oh, no. have to see no, it. I didn't get why you have to watch it? He didn't. I didn't get the text Neva. You're not in the group chat. No. I know why. Oh, I didn't know that. I know why Mel's not getting it. You're not getting it because this is part of me putting my brothers in the best position to win. Oh shit! Gotta be careful. That's why you're not understanding. If there's one person, yo, do your noise. Pew pew pew. Yeah 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 yeah. Do your noise. Pew pew. Pew pew. If there's one person here that I didn't need to see and speak on to episode two of the Gerard Carmichael show, it's Ish. And if there was another person, it's Flip. Do you, agree, do you agree with that? Uh, honestly, I really would like to hear Ish's take on it. On a public platform? Uh, yeah. All right, girl. All right, right. She don't. I, I, she don't. I, I know. She don't. can't help it. She don't. This is our sister. We got to protect her. Yeah. We got to protect her. It's fine. See? I think he could be yeah. crazy. I, I think he could be very all right, diplomatic. All right, all right. All right, we got it. All Check right. some later. All right. I told y'all go to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> y'all have a lot to talk about yeah. at that Starbucks. This is started early. Mm -hmm. Yo, so maybe I'm wrong for if I start a show, then let me at least watch episode two before I start to conclude things. Okay. So I saw episode one. Can't get more flagrant than that, I thought. Wrong. Definitely watch episode two. So now that everyone, for the most part, has seen it, I'm here to tell you, boy, am I done watching the Jared Carmichael show. That reality is a little too real? That shit gonna win the Emmy. I'm done with him as a whole. Yeah. It's gonna win the Emmy. I'm done with him as a whole. I don't whole. care what it win. And, and, don't try to call me homophobic, I ain't. I ain't. But I'm done with him and his show. Yeah. This is like a this is like reality grinder episode. It is. I told y'all this nigga is entirely too horny. He's put up ish numbers. This boy. nigga yeah. is too <laughs> he actually, it, Yeah. He cannot control his dick. Nigga said he started at three. He's inviting strangers from Grinder to his house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Falling in love. Talking about let me see your stomach. Mm -hmm. Let me see your body. I know I seen <laughs> it on the gram, but I mean, is it different in person? <laughs> Homeboy was like, nah, I mean, it's been about a month since I worked out. Mm -hmm. Jared was like, well, what changed in a month? Let me see. Nah, look, I got Then he showed him right his here. stomach. Then Jerario pulled his shirt up, started yeah, yeah. showing his stomach. Oh my God, look at your body. No, look at your body. Look at mm -hmm. our bodies. You got did. a six pack. You got a six pack. And he just kissed that nigga. He's leaning Ropt, on him. Roped him up. Cool. I'm not mad at none of that. Cool. Get your shit off, horny gay nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but then don't go sit in your lover's face that you've been canoodling with for however many months. And when the therapist asks you, have you cheated when you just cheated the day before? Say some shit like, nah, I don't even have the time to cheat. You're not even a good cheater. That's year one of the cheat lines. <laughs> so that's, you that's year one, hold up, big man, of denying the cheat. Yo, where would I even have the space to cheat? Yo, dog, that cameraman took that camera and said, word. <laughs> he did. Wait, word, you didn't cheat? <laughs> Gay boyfriend dude didn't know nothing. But by the way that cameraman moved, he knew something. He knew something at that and point. That nigga went back yeah. to the crib, packed his bags, and got out of there on Gerard. <laughs> now Gerard is sitting there crying. Oh, oh, my God, I'm going through it. This nigga's just not a good gay cheater. <laughs> He's way too horny. And he don't understand certain things. I feel like the whole image I had of him as a comedian is totally different now mm. that I see how he moves in his personal life. I like he's without he's without a lot of discipline. Mm. When the therapist is talking to him, he sound aloof. And on the stage, you give the you give the impression that you're the furthest thing from that. Uh the same mm -hmm. thing that he did, that 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 he was so upset Tyler Creator did to him, he turned around and did to his little white lover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, he got a lot mm -hmm. of weird shit going on with him. Well, he says it in the show um, that 
you know, he came out late. Yeah, he did. You know, he came out at the age of 30. 30. And he so, he's been gay for, uh, so he's he's been gay for like, old. yeah, for five minutes. So basically, he's in, in age equivalency. He's like a 17-year-old. Yeah. And how many 17-year-old boys do you know have any level of discipline or specifically dick discipline? None, really. So that's what he's, he's literally acting his age, you know, so to speak. Yeah, if you can change your age. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you just let him change his age. No, well, gay just, men don't just get to change their fucking age. Yo, I came out at thirty, so I'm one. He, no, <laughs> no, no. You're not doing that. I don't care if I sound like Candace Owens. You cannot do that. Because if that's the case, then I'm a new age too. <laughs> I'm not with How some of these double. I'm ass. identifying with a teenager too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe not a oh, maybe not a teen, but Stand shit. Up and touch the show. I'm, touch I'm 26 yeah. again. <laughs> I'm 25. So yeah, yeah. I'm a young adult. Are you crazy? They gonna bring I'm back 17. my space. <laughs> Mel, we no, we're yeah, not right. doing that. You're not right. letting some of these gay double standards go. That's true. No, I'm definitely. I'm not giving him permission. Your to discipline do so. ain't necessarily uh, a sexual discipline. That nigga's a star. Mm-hmm. So you have to have discipline and you have to have... You don't have to have nothing when you're a star. The you shit, is, the shit is literally true. laid the fuck out for you. you that is not true. What? That is not true. Your discernment needs to be more. stronger when you are a star. Your Girl, discipline. Watch He's having back. strangers come anybody. to his home where he resides. I know. Where his head. Yo, have the debate. That is... You, you need more discipline. I feel like the bigger... Sometimes the way that stardom hits people is it, you become way more excessive. That's possible. I'm talking about you being and you safety start to, and, and you, exhibiting and you, you, discipline. You, and you really start to hear you start to hear no less and less. You know what I'm saying? So about, then mm -hmm. I'm talking about your self so, discipline. So, so, now, so your now, now you need the discipline, discipline to not bring any exactly. of these people what to your about? home. I think that he has real issues with the whole concept of monogamy, and that's what we're witnessing when we're watching the show. We're watching his internal struggle with, you know, the fact, with a bunch of different things. One, he makes a point to talk about how much money he has. Um, he says that in the beginning of the episode. So he talks about that, you know, having an, an enormous amount of money, and it leads to you thinking about what his mindset means in terms of the access and excess of his lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. So when you have all of these things and you have this amount of money and you have all this access and excess, a lot of people ask themselves, why should I exhibit restraint? Well, why should I exhibit percentage. discipline? He goes on, though, to speak about how he's living out his childhood traumas mm -hmm. through sex, which has nothing to do with his success level. Mm -hmm, that's true. So no, I mean, and so, but, hitting things but, with boys since he was yeah, young. And, so yeah. what? So you saw what he did. He I went through a bunch. He went through a bunch of therapists. So he was trying a bunch of therapists on for size to see yeah. who he worked best with. Mm -hmm. And dudes. Well, yes, that too. <laughs> Grinder is and like, <laughs> dude therapists and, and dude therapists. Yeah, but he, yeah. but he, but he ended up. Um, picking one and it was like the I, I want to say she was Polish or, or you know Russian or something like that um, so she, he's, was, she was good yeah so she's going so he's actively in real time going through this whole process of where he's beginning to understand himself like he's developing his own sense of self-awareness in real time so you're going it's through cap. that I don't think it's cap at all I think it's. I well, think if, if if he were running head on to self awareness, then his 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 therapy sessions wouldn't go to where they're going. But they're just happening. Like that's what they was. She was showing us is he showed the process of picking the therapist, and then he picked the therapist, and then he started to you know. Picking, he, let me he, pick he, the therapist that I can lie to and guard the real information for the therapist to actually get somewhere. That's all I'm saying. Like if he was trying to step into this uh, level of self awareness that you were speaking of he wouldn't sound so aloof in I, the therapy. But I think that that's the beginning of the journey towards self-awareness. I think that- Oh, I won't see episode three, so. I, and I, yeah. think, I, think that, I think that you're confronted- the the I think that me. you're yeah, confronted yeah, yeah. with way too much truth for you to handle and you still kind of like are resistant to it. That's the beginning of the journey of self-awareness is coming to, de coming to terms with what the truth actually is and being like, nah, 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 fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. And I think that we're, what we're watching is his internal struggle to want to be a good person, to want- and I think that he thinks that monogamy means you're good. And so he's struggling with the with that and with what his sexual hardcore sexual desires are. And they're in competition with one another. And so we're witnessing that in real time. That's why this show's he's probably gonna get a fucking Emmy. Emmy. That's why mental, mental yeah. gymnastics. It yeah. just sounds crazy. <laughs> too much. 
It's just winning the Emmy. Yeah. That's cool. too much. That sounds it, it, crazy. It, it could win an Emmy or whatever yeah, other Emmy. award. I felt that bad for. I felt, I felt bad for his boyfriend though. Niggas making mistakes as a grown man by inviting strangers to his home. Like he's making. That's not know, disciplined at all. Yeah, yeah, at all. And you're grown. Mm-hmm. You're, so not, much, you're, 17 you're not seventeen years old. In the mind. Yeah, Bigger than that, you're here, grown nigga. and you rich. So I'm asking to to answer your question that you asked. You said what could go wrong? He could end up dead. Yeah. No, I know. Well, I mean, Grinding probably not premium? with a camera crew what there. About? As a premium grinder. I'm just saying, like, yo, the fact. I think I think part of the reason why he oh, he's also inviting these randoms to his house is knowing that there's a camera crew there and he's not going to end up fucking dead. You know what I mean? If this, we don't know what's really actually happening when the cameras aren't rolling oh, when yes, he's yes, not filming. Yes, we're doing do. the same thing, but doing it worse. Yeah, he's doing the same thing, if but worse. Do, if you're doing this when the camera is on, then you're doing, you're doing this when, when the off. camera is off. And this it's is not, worse. This is not love and hip hop. The premise of this show is Truman Show. I'm showing you things that you should not see. Mm-hmm. And at this level, at, at this level of entertainment, there does need to be a certain amount of discipline. It I does. mean, you on the podcast, you know that you can't invite the stranger from whatever website to your home. Oh, absolutely not. No matter how bad you want to fuck him. Me That's too. Very true. Me too. Mm-hmm. Him too. Him too. I'm talking about relationships aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. Like we know yeah. that we can't. Like so for him to yeah, it just I'm looking at him different, and it's not because he's gay. I don't care about. It. But my, also, my gay homies would look at him crazy. Right. Mm, I have gay homies that are like that's the lifestyle. We it have is, different gay it's, homies. It's, it's very it's, a lot <laughs> yeah, of like, a lot of times not a, a lot of times <laughs> exactly, but a lot of times you know sexual encounters are. Fairly anonymous. That was back in the you know what I mean? Studio like, 54 days. No, man. it's that not. I'm telling you, it's, 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 so it's not. They still doing that shit? Yes. Just having sex with random people? Yes. Grinder like Five, ele- six, seven people Let a day? You, he picked a photo of a guy whose fucking chest was, it was just his well, chest and his torso. That was it. I don't want y'all to come off like you're typecasting people based off one gay person's No, actions. not at all. Not humans, at all. Humans be horny. It, yeah. Exactly. Oh. So, niggas have been at the club and Scoops up. Niggas been Absolutely. Horny. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yes, people be horny. Yeah. <laughs> but what he was. But but I guess my thing with Mel is Mel, if I came in here and told y'all about one week where I fucked 14 different people, your reaction wouldn't be the same as it is with this. Yes. Well, there's probably going to be. So that's back to the double standard no, I speak about. No, it's not. And I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm not hating on that because I don't, that's not a manner in, I, in which I wish to behave. Mm-hmm. But we're viewing it under a different light because he's gay. I don't know. I think that part of the reason why I'm, why I'm looking at it the way that I am, and it's not like I'm. You would call me every dirty dick under the sun. You would. They didn't I'm, have to debate it. I'm not trying. I'm not. You didn't like the word bitch box when he says so. Okay. You I, would look at me differently the next hi, time dog, you Hi, dog pile. Shut the, the fuck up, both of you. Okay. Hold on just one Sorry. second here. Let me get my fucking thought out. Shit. Sorry. When I'm watching this, I'm watching this from a non judgmental point of view because if I'm to judge him, then I would judge him harshly. Well, that highlights the distinction I'm talking about. Yeah. So I'm not, when I'm offering my critique right now, I'm not offering it with judgment. I'm, I'm putting judgment to the side because it's not for me to judge him. You know what I mean? When you go home, are you judging him? I'm watching it. I'm, listen, I'm watching it like this. Like, holy fucking shit. Right, this guy is... I'm no, I'm, like, I'm watching it like he's... He's reckless. At any point. Okay. I'm watching it like he's reckless as fuck. But like that's to, what that to, is, that's to what Joe just said. Yeah. If he'd have told you he did that, you would judge him and look at him like a dirty dick motherfucker. There's po- there, you also have to know that part of why I would say that is also because I know him. You know what I mean? Like it's also like the close relationship, oh. the familiarity where you would where you would where it like kind of like adds on to that. Mm. This is okay, you get more grace because you don't know him and you're watching a TV show. Yeah, I don't know him. Okay. I'm watching All a right. TV show. It, to a certain extent he's showing us what he wants us to show us, but he is also being extremely transparent about the inner conflict that he's experiencing. He's verbalizing it and we're on this, you know, if you choose to keep watching the show, you're on this no, journey I'm not with him. The show I know I, I, I you're, you're we never impact. even talking you're about the show. You, you, you get your you're a true impact. You could watch it and you can if you came it. in here one part and said last week I fucked twenty dudes on judging you. And you, I wouldn't. And, and, I, and yeah, I would call be, you after the pod. Like, I would be to judging the fuck out of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I would call you after the pod. Like, get with you. Like, yo, let's go sit down and talk. Like, like I would try to speak to your inner on? child. Yes. 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 I would. Yes. I, would I would probably yeah. change your seat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, you get the high chair. Like, take that little hoot nanny. <laughs> take that hoot nanny. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Anyway, man, shout out to Jared Carmichael. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Good, good luck with your show. Uh, somebody, they're making a point on Twitter that HBO canceled all of his black led shows to put Jared Carmichael on do, doing his grinder shit. Mm. I won't make mm. that point. I mm. saw the point made too. Wow. We, we trying to get some HBO money? Who says we don't? You guys watch Curb yet? Who says it's a we? <laughs> Maybe I'm trying to I'm not including you You guys watch we, the curb, we curb finale? It's alright, man See, look, look, look <laughs> we, It's see, okay, too. Look how you talk about me publicly What did you say? <laughs> did you watch the curb finale? You hear your man? You hear your man, right? <laughs> Patreon, I'm not fighting with y'all I, 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 I did not oh, Okay, I'll wait then No, I, I didn't I'll wait Because it's pretty um, Contentious Really? Oh. I kind of liked it But a lot of people didn't I heard bad things about it Yeah, a lot of people have been shitting on it I kind of liked it It was fly To me can you can you tell me anything about why people are shitting on it? Um, spoiler alert. Are you okay with spoilers? I don't mind. Yeah. They redid the Seinfeld ending. Yeah. You said, didn't you? Oh, I, no. I, I, you, you I guess that. that. Yeah. Yeah, you said that. No. You said I see them no, setting you can't it up do to that. do that. I liked it, but. You can't do that. But as a Seinfeld fan, I understand. Like, my wife was with me. She never watched Seinfeld. She was cracking up, watching the whole shit. She loved it. Halfway through, she was like, why aren't you laughing? I'm like. Because I've seen this before. You married mm. somebody who never saw Seinfeld? Yeah. <laughs> and In the name alone. It, it upset you? <laughs> it didn't upset me. It was just like, I see what they're doing. Yeah, parts But then once I kind of. In advance. Yeah, I called that. As soon as he got arrested in he Georgia, was like, I was like, I see I what they're doing. I think they're, they're going to do the Seinfeld. Uh -huh. I think he was telling Keno or somebody. I think you know? uh, Amani. Oh, yeah. He's and, a curve fan yeah. here. But once I said that and I got that out of my brain, I just enjoyed it for what it was. And I, I, I liked it. All right, well, well we watch it. from Curb Finale to a show that should have a finale very, very, very soon. <laughs> we got to get BMF the fuck out of here. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Why? What? Why? Why? Because it's terrible. That's why. It, I, it, I ain't see it this week. Look, have you seen the seasons? I did. Or last season. No, last season was the day. Last season, I, we, we disagree on that. Yeah. This shit here, you, 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 can, you can give me, you know what? No, it makes it bad for me. Everything. <laughs> what makes it good? Yeah, yeah. Shorter list. <laughs> well, no, you cut them off. I want to hear what's bad about the new episode. Literally, everything is bad about this shit now, bro. The, sto the story it got into nigga shit. It went away from the story. It was a story to be told. It's like fantasy, bang, bang, shoot them up nigga shit to me. All right, y'all ain't telling me. I'll go. Nigga, she I'll got go. a flamethrower and stood in front of the dude with a flamethrower, lit it, staring at him. Wait, He's didn't like, you Yo. say she licked it first? She licked it. That's it. Lit dangerous. the flamethrower. We're standing in front of the dude and he's telling, yo, what you doing? Yo, what the? And lit his dumb ass on fire. She's dude. one of the most unnecessary the characters I've ever seen in a TV show. Bro, I almost threw my phone watching this <laughs> shit. I said, all right, you know what? I, I, you know how you be so invested? You got it. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool at this point. Y'all have, have to read that something crazy happened to say, all right, let me go back and watch now. Sorry. Because to me, the first two seasons. And they slow mode or walking. Like with the flamethrower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Fuck we yeah. so we sitting there. Like saying, she was like, Angela Bassett. Yeah. So she lit the car. Saying, she lit the nigga ass on fire. Hey, I'm no dummy, but this dude should move. <laughs> and he didn't move. He didn't move. <laughs> and you're right. That, her her character is just annoying to me now. Yeah, there's it's, no point. Why it's not necessary it? in the story storyline? Dog, this shit is bad. It's, 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 I don't it's, want them to cancel BMF though. I don't either. See, that's the Vince's point. Oh, yeah, that's the Vince's point. That's the point. Vince's point. Well, just that so let me ask you. Okay, all right, let's have that. We have to accept mediocrity? Can we not want better? Or do we have to just because so it's say, black? Hold on. Just because it's black, if it's not good, we just have to, because it's black, just say, fuck it, and we're going to champion this regardless? We can give out uh, ideas and suggestions to, uh, for it to be good. To, for it it was good. good. Stay on. It was good. So say, yo, I, or BMX. take those, or if y'all, if y'all, it's clear that y'all don't give a fuck no more, at somewhere. <laughs> take this and apply whatever y'all was spending here, and maybe let's put it into a, two more black shows or something like that then, I, if that's the case. I think it's a real simple and easy fix for BMF. Like, if the next season comes on and they get into when these niggas is popping already, then we here now. Telling the and world. And that story can go here. on. Like, I think a lot of us watching now have seen enough of these pre prelim episodes to say, hey, let's get to the time when they did it. Like, it's only but so much of the history that, that I need. I don't but need all But the point of, of the show was the, I don't know if it's, if it's to get to that. The point of the show was the start. If you're never getting to that, then take the show off the air. 
Yeah, you, you, you have no choice like, because they're getting three. older and time is progressing. We had three now. So you how many seasons you growth? thought this show was going to get? I, you, you, that's my point. If you're mm. going to assume that they get five seasons like most of the other shows. Then you got to get to it. Then the next two seasons, we should be a little more into, this is when BMF was lit. True. Well, the way you get to the next seasons is by making seasons good. Because what dog, happens is people start to say, all right, I'm off. Hey, this. spoiler alert, because this, this, this will tell you that that's what needs to be done. The bald-headed cop nigga pulled up to the funeral and kicked Terry in the in the Pushed in, him in, the, in, the, in the grave. Yeah, right in the dirt. <laughs> in, in, the, in the grave. And then you saw 20 people surround him, look like they wanted to grab a gun mm -hmm. and shoot him, but they didn't do they it. They didn't do it. And then mm -hmm. they pan into Terry in the grave, fixing his tires <laughs> yeah. like that. I'm like, yo, if you're going to show me niggas just be... A pussy or get kicked around. Lying, yeah. Show me when they wasn't. Like I want to see when it's real. Oh no, you ain't see. Your, it, oh, I meet, see. Meet, meet and Shorty is in the um, in the drop top. The cops got their man's hemmed up up ahead. Oh yeah. Oh man. The cops see him. Tell the dog to get him. They in the car. <laughs> they ain't get out the car. The dog chasing them in the car. <laughs> dog chasing the car all the way down the street. And let, <laughs> let me tell you, it led to the most. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look at me. Look at me while I'm talking. To you. Look at me. No, sit up. Look at me. The dog chased the Mercedes SL. Drop the SL white one. <laughs> <laughs> up the block. It was keeping up with it. Right there. Listen, it led, it led to the most incredible K turn I've ever seen. Oh, nigga. Yeah. Oh. That was quite a K turn. See, I can't do that K turn in a video game. I can't. Yeah. Meech, Meech didn't do it. That oh. was some K turn. You got away from that dog. Boy, I'll tell you, dogs. You know, quite athletic. You never, you never know. It's the, new, it's the new Manhattan robot man. dog. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else is there? Hey, our audience, there will be no more uh, coverage of Gerard Carmichael's show. Sorry. Yeah, yeah no. Sorry. Man. Call me any name in the book. I'll take it. Fair. But that dude, nah. And then the white boy that he was fucking. <laughs> And then the white boy that he was fucking and cheating on, right? They were showing us their vulnerable moments. Mm -hmm. The white boy ain't but 5'4". He's little. Five, He's diminutive. Four, five, four, five, 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 three, something small. He's diminutive. I know the point. Of course he on the couch. <laughs> he on the couch. Gerard Carmichael is 6'4". Yeah, six, three. He is yeah. a tall, tall brother. Yeah. And he got all in between the dude legs in the up. S. Cuddled up. This dude is mad miniature trying to trying to be affectionate to this big black gay nigga in my couch. Man, get this nigga, man. What did you think about the joke that he told at the end? I think if you... Oh, the race bait and shit. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't want to judge it too much because we had Keno on the show to make the same exact joke. He came up here. If that's what dude is into, I try not to kink shame. Mm. Uh, but it was a lot. And he, he told the joke a lot better than Keno. Mm. Like he told it like he sucked dick before. Keno told okay. it like he's never sucked dick. <laughs> I, I was well, here for that joke. Yeah. The race baiting shit yeah. at the end of Gerald Carmichael shit. He basically said that him and his boyfriend have you know where they he makes the joke where that's he speaks to him like that's his master and that he's the slave. And the white boy hates it. He's like, well, I find it very fucking funny. I would hate it too. Yeah. If I was your white lover, I would hate that you tell that joke. Yes, master. Like, if I'm into that but in my own bedroom and behind closed doors. Don't go tell See, him. that's my problem with, well, would be my problem if you was doing this Truman Show type shit with my gay lifestyle. Like, I'm not down with that. You tell your partner and, and, sharing, and sharing your business, you sharing mine too. Well, that's what dude that's told true. him in episode one. Remember the one that had the mask? The mask. Yeah. He Big was dude. like, yo, I'm not fucking with this because this is some. This ain't no scripted show. And it, it's, it, I don't know what's edit, what's cut. I don't want to be a part of this. And he wasn't in episode two. Nope. No, he wasn't. No, no, he wasn't. He got no, no, the no. fuck out of Dodge. Yeah. 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 Or, Flip. yeah. Or whatever they call it. Get the fuck out of Hodge. Flip. <laughs> Come on, Flip. What's up? Talk to me, nigga. You know what this weekend was? WrestleMania, yes. Let's hear it. I want to hear the recap. Well, I got I got I got an issue saying. with you. Yeah, you said, but yeah, my yeah. issue with you, I'll get to. You want to do my issue first? Or you want to? I want to hit. Yes. Yeah. I watched. <laughs> When they panning through the crowd, they showed Drewski mad times. Shout to Drewski. Salute. I said, okay. <clears throat> but then I saw. Yo, you might as well go get your whole box of salutes. Right? Yo, that nigga on WWF too? No, 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 no. Get then over. I saw. Bring that big bag of salutes over here. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I saw them put speed through the table. That's what's up. And then that's when I wanted to fight you. Why? Because that should have been you. 
Yeah, you should have been going through that. We don't have the time to explain. But to yeah, you that's why. why. Yeah, that's yeah. why. I don't agree. Okay. But but anyway, so that, that was do, my issue with you. I do want to shout them out. I think that's dope. I was I was happy for them. I wanted them to be now. happy for you. Yeah, I mean, you happy for me now? I'm not happy for you no more. Not the oh. happiest. <laughs> All right, not the happiest. Y'all happy with me now? Did you even go? No. Is this y'all WrestleMania review? No, I'm, I'm letting. No, 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 no. WrestleMania, WrestleMania went down. Cody Rhodes finished his story. Um, night one, The Rock and Roman Reigns beat Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, which was fire. They beat him, so we didn't know what was going on. We didn't know what happened. But then night two, you know what I mean? When they had the match, um, Cody Rhodes was able to complete it. It was a lot of surprise guests. I mean, John Cena came out. The Undertaker, Undertaker choked him. The big Rock. Undertaker. You know what I'm saying? And. There's some funny shit in that. I, yeah. I got a, I got a good laugh when Undertaker came out. Yeah, and yeah. Because the way they did it, lights went out. You heard the bell toll. Lights come on. He in the ring. Lights go out did, again. Did the move. Yeah. Lights go out. Bell toll. He gone. That ramp was long as hell. They was yeah. like, we got to find a way to put the Undertaker in there. He can't run down here. I think he ran through the crowd. Through the floor, I, fam. I'm saying it's Definitely funny. Went through the floor. He's old than a motherfucker. Oh, he's not hell. letting him run down that damn ramp. Was old as hell. They had to wheelchair him down. He that looked ramp. old. Now they got a video of how he got away. He ran through the crowd. Oh, he run nowhere. I swear, there's, there's a video where the security was surrounding him. They played it on one of the wrestling blogs. I believe it. But I'm just saying, I it, was just, it. it was a lot of dope shit in there. Snoop, biggest celebrity, biggest rap celebrity ever, yo. He is. Like just to see. I don't care what it is. You just yeah, say you the happy name Snoop, Snoop. Dogg yeah. and the crowd go crazy. He came down, called the match. I want Snoop to call everything that I ever watch. Man, I want to see him call the finals, the Super Bowl. <laughs> Snoop was just funny and high as hell the whole time. WrestleMania was great. But the whole WrestleMania was great. Yeah. I got me some more women wrestlers and managers that I like. I got a new, yeah, me and E, we got our list. <laughs> but, um... To what you were saying about the story part, and again, I'm, I did not know all of that story stuff. I don't like Cody Rose. I just don't like how he looks. He looks like Homelander. Sorry. But <laughs> I don't. I knew as soon as they won that match what was going to happen the next night. I, I mean, of I course, did too. It was clear. I did as well. It was clear. I so did it as well. I called a lot of it online. It was just like, all right. You know what I mean? But it, 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 I mean, it was great, man. Cody Rose is the champion. The Rock was even yesterday on, on Raw. I did watch. Uh, uh, the Rock handed Cody something in his hand. The Rock said he's going away for a bit to go film. And we got to see where it goes, man. I mean, wrestling is fun again. It did feel wrestling good. Wrestling is great. I, I, I watched wrestling for three days straight, like back to back, three days. And I don't know the last time I did that, and that shit felt good to watch. Like, I'm back. So I'm letting y'all know I'm and back. And they got a new champion, too. Real quick, Seth lost to Drew McIntyre, but then Damian Priest came and cashed in, so Damian Priest is Shout now the Imani. champion. Shout out to everybody. So let's see where it goes. I'm just excited. Talk about Dwayne Johnson's ability to turn a business around in less than a year. Crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Him, like, him I didn't watch the entire WrestleMania, but I did peek in mm -hmm. here and there. Me and too. it was electric. I all, watched all that over the timeline. Shit. And it was electric on the timeline versus Caitlin Clark against South Carolina. Uh -huh. like, True. You, Which was you, a great you, game, you, by the way. Really it's great game. game. Shout out, shout out to those amazing women, uh, 18 million viewers. Wow. Ooh. Broke records. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, there was a lot going on this weekend. Mm -hmm. Men's game was and trash. And still, WrestleMania, WrestleMania was absolutely lit. And the other thing I like, and it, this has been a thing I've known over the years, but just seeing hip hop in, in WrestleMania. Yeah. That was great. Snoop. Meek. Uh, Meek. Wale. Meek doing the intro the night, the night two. That was great. Um, mm -hmm. Lil Wayne Weezy. coming out. Like, this This was that, that, that marriage of hip hop. With WWE is great. I seen a lot, you know, uh, West Side Gun. Two Chains. Two Chains. A lot of them dudes was. It's the, front, Paul, it's the Paul Levesque era, they said. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had a problem with that, but I don't. Who the, I had a little. Triple, triple H. Okay. I had a problem because when, when Stephanie McMahon came out and introduced it, I feel like I understand, you know, Vince is a piece yeah, of yeah, shit, yeah, but yeah. I, I feel like they just tried to completely erase everything that Vince contributed to wrestling entertainment. But he I understand. You have to. I know you he did. To. I know I get it, you but it's. To. You got to, though. I understand. It is just it just didn't feel right. Shareholders in this doggy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it didn't feel right to it's me. Publicly traded. Right. But shout out to Triple H. He got shit moving. He the shit looking shit. good, man. Wrestling is great again. So that shit looks really good. So shout out to all yeah, the wrestling nah, community out there. I see everybody was happy. Man, I, I would I would train and try to be a part of that if I could. <laughs> Get a couple million, right? It's a good time. It's a good time. Fall through it. tables it's anyway. Just, wrestling is doing all oh, that, and then I'm seeing my counterparts. 
if I'm seeing my counterparts involved, yeah. then it's like, all right, now y'all playing with me. Yeah. Y'all playing with me now. That bag is too big. Like, why would I even short myself? Why am I playing with myself like that? I'm not going on a flip die trap right now. I'm just saying I would. No, oh, that's peace. Uh, Respect. Yeah. Mel dressed like she ready to go to war for Canada. Stop playing with Canada. <laughs> Bro, she got the boots and they tied up. Stop yeah, playing with Canada. Dead ass. Fuck they talking about. I'm chilling. I'm just chilling. Uh, anything else important? Dead ass. And I pray that God align me back up yeah. on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't going to lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I want to I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I'm for you. Yo, dog, I don't want to hear none of my favorite rappers in beef start talking like Mel. Take your best <laughs> shot, boy. I got my chin out. Yo, it's all love. I don't want to hear none what? of my favorite rappers talk, talking fuck about. Are we talking about getting right back to their spiritual path? Oh, fucking man. hunting hut house. What now? I don't want to hear about <laughs> none of that when it's wartime. It is wartime. I do not want to hear my favorite rappers talk about losing sleep, <sighs> mm. tossing and turning, mm. nightmares. Exposing their chin. Mm, well. Yo, man, well, I deserve whatever's coming to me. I got my chin out, boy. Take your best shot. Don't I don't even like do. the use of boy right there. When you Yeah. No, none I of that. I don't like none it. Of that. I don't like no, nothing, nothing about, nothing. yo, I got my chin out. Come on, boy. Come boy. You got that boy, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Whatever, my nigga. It's love. That's love, Grinchy. And that's Cap. And it's Cap, too. Because if the jab did that to your sleeping, <laughs> you're going to need a lot more melatonin. <laughs> you can't, you, you don't have the ability to hold your chin out and take that punch from the person that's throwing it. This is going to be a bad episode of Smackfest. Don't <laughs> let me out. It's going to be a bad episode of Smackfest. This is going to be like when the nigga look brolic and look like he about to eat that shit and then he crumbled to the ground and the four dudes standing behind him got to hold him up, him. pick him up, yeah, yeah, carry yeah, him off. Yeah. You do not have the strength in your jaw, pause, to take the punch that would be coming to you. And it is coming to you. I'm taking my 500 from Ish. <laughs> I'm getting my 500 from Ish. That punch is no, that punch coming with brass me. knuckles, nigga, with an NWA ring on it. <laughs> easy. Courtesy of Compton. An easy e record ring. I don't do it for myself. I do it for Compton. <laughs> he say it in every, every line. Every line. The nigga got verses about whole hoods having to stop beefing at the ascension of him. Mm. Like I guess That's what mm. I'm saying I'm saying that Creative the, intent the Is ge important geography Is important. important I've heard that echoed Let me ask I've heard that echoed While my phone has been ringing Creative intent is important Which is why Drake is Diana Ross But with a gun <laughs> <laughs> But his creative intent Was to always be Diana Ross with a gun He did it He did that shit Cole need to go sit in a dark room alone somewhere. I've been to Russ' house. Russ got Russ got a lot of money. Russ got a, a room of just like white crystals, <laughs> just sand and shit. I was like, "What's this for?" He's like, "Oh, just when I need to get right with my soul and I need to sit Alana here Alana and chakras. breathe." These mm -hmm. rocks come from such and such, and they exude. It's like, nigga, I right, dog. <laughs> <laughs> get me, get me to the Kool Aid. <laughs> he need to go sit in one of them rooms, really get right with himself, man, man. The position that he put so many people in, I'm not off of it. I'm really hurt. Let me ask you a question. I'm really hurt about all of this. With 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 Kendrick, ever since what was that element? I guess like referring to himself as the as Candyman, and you know people having this whole boogeyman uh, ideal of him. Mm -hmm. Drake shit aside, mm -hmm. him not responding to J. Cole, being that, hey, this is somebody that stepped out and swung at you. Mm -hmm. Does that do anything? I don't think that's the fight. I, I understand what you said. 
not saying it's the fight at all. We know the fight. But again, if I'm making myself as that person, don't say my name, don't say nothing to me, or it gets spooky for you. I think it's going to be ammo in the fight. Mm-hmm. A little a little shot here, but I don't think it's... Nothing mm-hmm. directed. Like, I'll just throw something back. No, can't okay, nobody out. say nothing about Kendrick, nothing he stand for, none of the people he stand with, or anything he's ever said. This ain't the time for that. I have effectively eliminated one of your top tier. He is ghost. And all just of my... Just the threat, though. That's the crazy shit. Fuck that threat. These niggas' oh, actions wow. from this point forward have have proven Kendrick lyrics to age like that billionaire wine them niggas got in the cellar from 1870. Heart part four? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? This is what... Damn. That's April 7th. Yeah, but... Dog, you... I, I don't know, give I know, a I know, I know, I know, I know. You can't call it to a T like that. Yeah, it's bugged out. <laughs> you cannot no. allow him to call it to a T like that. Remember I just said y'all can't allow Kendrick to have his control moment? Y'all did the exact same thing verbatim again per script. Y'all tried to tell me that that verse wasn't all that. Cool. It may not have been. The moment that happened after the verse made that verse be everything that y'all niggas said it wasn't. Y'all told me that his future verse wasn't all that. To some of y'all, it might not have been. It might have been, might have been just some bullshit. All of the behavior after the verse. I'm not even ending this part without playing like that again. Because <laughs> y'all don't understand. Remember when Kanye came out and said, I'm doing real life art. So I'm going to upload a different version of my album as I'm creating it yes. every. Yes. I, don't, I don't know if he stuck to that. But he, the, he did it. But the idea conceptually. He did. Was, uh, it was living art. But what's ill about Kendrick, I think, is where he's going. It's that he didn't have to update it. Right. It, it, it's it updated it. It itself. Did it. <laughs> it automatically updates. Yeah. This should get harder every week. How is it going to move from number one? Still no sign of Carnival. Still no sign of no Beyonce song. Not a one. And Beyonce came out and so what? Four, four, yeah. 403, 420, something mm-hmm. crazy she did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And still no sign of a number one record. Y'all could try to act like this didn't do what it did, but it did. And the time for speculation, the time for fan insight, the time for your, our opinions as onlookers and watchers of this shit is over. We are here now. Main event time. Everybody shut the fuck up and let these two niggas duke it out. And then we still got this album coming Friday with more shit on it. Uh huh. Oh, my Lord, man. Not too late. Not too late for y'all to change your predictions if you want for the next round. You Everybody's still on Drake. We all on Drake. All of us. We all said Drake. You might want. You trying to change yours, yours or something? Is yeah. what you're saying? You on Drake too? We got you. Yeah, but I'm. I feel like fucking. Uh, I feel like uh, Martha Stewart right now a little bit. In what way? I'm insider trading. Yeah, I'm only betting Drake because of the insider informa- inside information that I have. That's fine. If I didn't have that inside information, I would be going off of her you'll, loss. You'd be in the kitchen with an apron all on. the dogs. <laughs> uh, honestly, never mind or whatever that the club yeah, shit is. Yeah. I would be going off, and I would say Kendrick has got him. See, I, would, I wouldn't say that. They regardless. don't put they don't put the battery in my back now. I don't have none of that information. I just know Drake. They told me it's old Drake. Well, they didn't say that verbatim, but. I told you, you just, sometimes, bro, you just need that that motivation, that battery in your yeah. back. Like, you got to remind niggas who the fuck you are. I've been saying that about Drake. Granted, I didn't like, honestly, never mind. I wasn't a fan of certain things. But I just don't think You don't that, put that, hold on, I'm speaking. Go ahead. You don't just go ahead and disregard him like he ain't still that nigga when he need to be that nigga. He's, nothing has showed us that he can't get back to that if he needs to. I think that nobody alive currently doing it can beat Drake if he's Drake. I also think that Drake and all of his power is not enough to dent what Kendrick stands for. That's why I got into the information. That's why I don't know yet. That's why I got into the information. Because I don't, I don't, I, I, does anybody in here know these people personally? No. Kendrick? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. It might be, because Cole was alluding to, yo, I can expose you, the real you. Never you know say, never yeah, say but, yeah, but we Never can't, say his name. Yeah, yeah. Never say his name. <laughs> Honestly, his that name record is stricken from the record. Yeah. Yeah. JC, yeah. 
Not Jesus yeah. Christ. You it's illegal. been thrown out of court. <laughs> Coal yeah. is you Coal. illegally obtained that evidence, yeah. and it's not it's, it's not admissible. Yeah. It's yeah. not admissible like, in court. He, he's he's that record he is now Chris Benoit to us. If yeah. you thinking about taking it off streaming, I'm not talking about it ever in my brain. He better never take that. And off. it sounded like it was all cap. I told y'all last week. It sounded like all cap. It was you cap. Said it. You said it was it. cap. You said it. It was cap. He didn't believe a utter word. A word he was uttering. None of it. Got that long text. Or short. When the grass is lowered, mm -mm. snakes mm -mm. shall reveal themselves. As it, I think it was bad. As it turns. And the serpent doesn't like grass. Same way, same way, same way it rains. God, <laughs> same way Drake. God shall nah. come down and grab well, the serpent. <laughs> same way Drake used to send the, uh, what, he, what emoji he was sending to Kanye, the little devil shit. That's it. Oh, if y'all think Drake don't got a little poem coming before this drop. <laughs> If he did what they saying he went and did, it ain't just going to be scary hours time. It ain't going to be some little, it's going to be a long caption. Mm -hmm. Act posted, whatever the fuck he got, Drake got written on the board the white from board. the tour, yeah, the whiteboard. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that has anything to do with this. Maybe it don't. But if that's the headspace you in. The, white, the whiteboard says, about the check. rap game will never be at peace. There will always be competition. And as long as there's competition... There will never be peace. Everyone wants to be the one. And I'm not picking Drake if this is the field against Drake. I don't know who else is against Drake right now. We just talking round two. That's it. Whatever round you want to call talking it. Talking about this. the main yeah, fucking We talking about this. Yeah, but round two on Future's album might be some new participants in this game. Cool. Mm -hmm. It's possible. It, it could be. Very much so. I be. have to hey, add. Go wait, hold up. So I would have to add whoever those people are to Kendrick. But we talking about uh, wouldn't that no, be like a parlay or something so. like that at this point? I don't even think you got to do that. I think Drake, I jumped them niggas. Outside of Kendrick, I don't think none of them niggas stands a chance. I don't know if I go that far. Who? If they click up, it could be interesting. True, I agree. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying if you oh, one on one. Outside of Kendrick, I still think Future is hard for Drake to to shoot at. I do. I do too. What is he gonna say to Future? He's gonna say something. He's target. definitely gonna say something to Future. He's gonna say Absolutely. something to Future. After what y'all just did, I gotta. You you're a good portion of the target. This the thing, future. yo. We don't know why these niggas is really beefing. We don't know what information lies below the surface. It could be over a chick, and he could fuck around and start. Yo, bro, I, I I just I got faith in all it these have, niggas. It lyrical may have started thing, over, chick, and I might could be able to spin it, and I can might tell the truth for how shit really. Like it just de depends on the information. It's just the information of what they got. Because when you got a pen, you got a pen. We'll it see. could it could start at a chick, and then I could see the, all the sucker shit that you done did True. Mm -hmm. over the chick. Mm -hmm. True, He's, now, he mentions now that your man card. Is he said that niggas like, are saying. Um, shit to the girls behind closed doors, mm -hmm. writing it off as little jokes, and that could get into business dealings. And yeah. we already mm -hmm. there now. I ain't even got to speculate. This, yeah, I don't care. This about is crossed I, over. I'm ready, I'm ready to just listen. This is now. crossed over. Me too. Just ready to listen. On future albums, somebody new is popping up. Ross, who could it be? Ross popped up Pop, already. Yeah, but Ross could be there. a. Somebody oh. new is popping up. Oh. I'm telling Ooh, you, it could be Kanye. Could be, yeah. yeah. I'm open to being wrong, but I don't see it on I still don't trust you and the you is still out there. The you is still Drake. Yeah. And no, I'm not riding with Drake because this ain't all talent to me. Like, depending on what Drake did to make all of these people angry, he could get looked at away. If we yeah. just talk in talent and appeal and skill, yeah, Drake is a hard day for anybody. It's a hard day for anybody. You think they can turn the tide? You think they can really turn the tide on Drake? Depending on who I'm else pops up. Yeah, yes. yes. So, yes. Who, who do you? Who is needed? Is it to pop up with them? What we're seeing is a new weekend track. That's better rumor. I don't know how much that. I'm just speculating. Hey, yo, if them niggas start jumping Drake, I want Wayne and Nikki to jump in it, man. <laughs> Word up. Make it interesting. Mm. Mm. Just, they're not jumping in. Who? Wayne and Nikki? Yeah, I don't see it. <sighs> the time has passed. What? And, and, man, pa and past that. The, them niggas just had the prudential, man. Business. I'm, I'm going to get my check. 
They don't need it. And I don't want to speak on their business because I don't know anything about it. They don't need it. But putting myself in that spot. Well, not, not myself because not even. Sometimes, go ahead and fight for a little bit. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. he, the, he the best in the world and we helped him get there. But go ahead and fight for a couple seconds first. Mm -hmm. Especially if you did some fuck shit. Get a little pow pow. And I'm not going to get into rumors of Drake doing <sighs> with I was just thinking something. There, there, there are Drake and Wayne rumors that mm -hmm. have circulated yes. is what I'll say. When, mm -hmm. when Wayne went away. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm not that messy so I'm not talking mm -hmm. about that. That's not my business. I don't know. I ain't spoke to nobody. Nobody's told me a thing. But that could lend to, hey, just go fight for a little bit yeah. by yourself first. I got to see who else is involved. Because from my perspective, it looked like Drake don't have nobody with him. I don't count that little baby shit. I don't count dirt. And I don't count 21 Savage. Those are three people I think that if this shit start getting to the level that J. Cole knows it's about to go to, they, they all bow they out. They're going to sit out. They're going to sit out. Everybody bows they're out. Sit out. When I was I firing so. at Drake, it was some producers wouldn't give me a beat. I don't think so. Some niggas bow out. Some of these there's nothing little Baby could say. There's nothing Dirk could say. Don't matter. There's nothing it, to 21 Savage They, they don't have this. to say something. They and they all live in Atlanta. So what? They can all stand with them. And I think some of these young niggas is built on different morals and principles that they ain't going to bow out but if that's their real man. But also, again, the, yeah, disc, the, the initial disc came on the future project. Now, if they come and do something on my future nigga, again, you're my If you are my friend. None of them. Nobody's friends. They ain't friends. Nobody's Let's friends. Let's start there. They're not friends. You don't think Drake and 21 Savage are friends? No. No. Not I at all. I think they have Not in the slightest. Business in the relationship that there may be some friendship in there, There's but there's no I don't friendship think this there. Is, That's, we ain't he cool. Yeah, we cool. He cool. In this industry, everybody's cool. No, some people be friends. You, you don't want to close the door on certain opportunities. I'm not yeah, opening up yeah. to you, so we all cool. We cool. But I'm not gonna friends. Being a friend with you might fuck up something I could do over there down the line, and I'm not willing to do just that much yet. I, I disagree, but it's cool. And again, again the real the. the this beef started or this beef came to light on future. So even if we are friends, I don't know if I'm willing to stand next to you while you're going up against future in them. Dog. And we in Atlanta. Future, we from Atlanta. Well, we're not Met friends. Future, then. Metro, Weekend, Ross. The list of people against Drake just could get super interesting is all I'm saying. Speculative. He's going to have to knock out a lot of people, but I think he can <laughs> I think you can. Mel, who you riding with, Atlanta or Canada? Before we go, before we go, before we go. I mean, that's a lot of people stacked against him. I think these young niggas is riding with Drake, dog. I know somebody. Yeah. Somebody hit me and was like, "Yo, you talking all that shit about uh, can Drake beat Atlanta? We don't know that Atlanta's against Drake. I, I, that's I'm, what I'm rocking with. I, 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 I hear that point." And I'm not close-minded to that. Gunner seems to be thriving, and y'all told me Atlanta was against him. So I get it. I get the point. Yeah, the new record that just that uh, featured that little baby did, and it, and they're trying to pick apart the line to see if he diss Gunner or not. Again, the line was, um, "How you switch up on the bros? I can't fuck with those niggas. Act like they won't fold, knowing that they told." And it's like, little baby, if you are dissing Gunner, you should stop. Sorry. Especially Nobody's if it's it. the same diss. Oh, you told you. Oh, fold, you ain't putting no it, spin on it. Like you ain't putting no fly yeah. spin yeah, on it. You ain't. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, before we get out of here, man, we got we got to congrats. Shoot, big congrats out to Zaire, man. Oh yeah, that's our dog Zaire. Yeah. How was what? Uh, my man Zaire Franklin got married over the weekend. I went. I don't normally go to people's weddings, but Zaire's gang gang. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to him and his, his lovely, beautiful wife. Uh, I shed a couple thug tears. Of course. Mm. I shed a couple thug tears. Because Tim went up there. Oh, mm. man. Tim went up there. And Tim Sorry, is Tom. like Zaire's real yeah. man, yeah. man. Yeah. So to once Tim, 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 once Tim went up there and gave him a little, you know, me and Zaire go, <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all it takes. What Tim did that? Nah, that's the man. Nigga, I was on his side. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 
Then you go back. <laughs> he started talking. I was with him in the one bedroom in Philly before any of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was absolutely was fire. fire. The wedding was fire. Uh, cocktail hour was fire. Shout out to whoever did the Italian food at the cocktail hour. Mm. Uh, and then I was about to skate, but love was too much love in the air, so I stayed. Mm. Then they did the whole, you know, best man, best woman. Everybody mm. come up, give a speech. Parents, first dance. Oh, my God. I was crying my ass off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, man. Zayel has lost some loved ones. Like, if you know about his story, yeah. like, for him to be up there, for his wife's family to be, they was, they was, they, they was there, and they was, we was all proud. There was a lot of love in there. And just the amount of love in there spoke to Zaire's character. Mm. Mm-hmm. And even Zaire mm-hmm. choked up a little bit up there. That's my man. But as tough as they come, yeah, that, that, well, that's once the Tim got to talking, I looked at Zaire and said, <laughs> <laughs> the silent thug cry. <laughs> <laughs> silent thug cry on the right, niggas. Right, right. It's hard. You know what I mean? It's going to happen to all of us. So I stepped outside. Y'all, now, once I started crying, it was smoke break time. I was stepping outside. <laughs> <laughs> I was stepping out for a smoke break. And that's where my peace was until I heard a ruckus. Oh. Mm. The bros. I forgot. Is that here? Oh, man. <laughs> Some kick stomping was going on. Yeah, I you hit that on. Yo, the nigga, I'm outside in the quiet South Jersey woods forest. Uh-huh. He clearly spent a lot of money on this uh, this venue. All this shit look lit. No, it's man. quiet. You can hear a pin drop out there. <laughs> and about 400 feet away. <laughs> here they go. Boom. You hey, 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 get, 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 hey, hey. Outside going crazy. <laughs> and nigga Ian said, What what's going on? I said, It's Yo, dumb. Them niggas don't play. I said it's yeah, dumb. Play. This the and worst. I went back inside and you know, after all the beautiful shit, all of them took they went out there. I see it. <laughs> They went out there on a what is it? He's a, is he a Delta? I don't want to. No, no, he's a Delta. He's a, he's a women. A, he's a Q. He's a Q. She's mm. a Delta. Yes. Yeah. So they both. Yeah. So he went out there and queued it up. Yeah. Them niggas got a. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> nah, but it means something when okay. like it means something yeah. in that in that moment. The dropouts got to yeah. <laughs> dropouts got to shut the Yo, fuck up. It's like when the Hawaiian niggas stand across from you and do the shit. <laughs> You can't say nothing because not say nothing. They calling on their ancestors, nigga. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? He did all that cute shit and then went and sat down with his niggas. <laughs> then his wife, the girl. Oh, yeah. They start bugging up there. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get out of here. Because they doing some tribal shit now. One nigga, they did that shit at my uncle's funeral. They don't play. They don't. When you. I want to be one of them when they do that. No. You gonna spill a drink, nigga. <laughs> you gonna kick and spill some shit. You gonna kick and spill some shit, y'all. I wanna somebody hold that. <laughs> Almost called your name. <laughs> yeah, so Almost stupid. gave you a movie review. Really <laughs> uh, nah, when they get to doing yeah, that, that shit, that shit nah. be high, though. Also, what I learned is Zaire's joint. Don't laugh. It's not funny. My electric slide is rusty. <laughs> oh, Park, throw it on, Park. Yo, 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 yo as a black, that's, that's I'm a black, I'm black, yo. I ain't logic. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. <laughs> I mean, I mean, dog. As a black person, <laughs> my electric slide is a little rough. Hold up. That's crazy. So I was there by. I was. <laughs> I was there. I was there by myself, mm-hmm. and the dinner table. How he seated the dinner table, I got to talk to him about it later. <laughs> Salute to that man. Wait. Salute to that mm-hmm. man and how he did the dinner table. Mm-hmm. The person that was next to me was six foot five. <laughs> like Mariah Carey looking ish, like when she was like younger. Mm-hmm. You uh, had a vision of love. <laughs> No, don't blame me. Uh, I was asking. But I'm just saying, the table that he set was the table that he set. And I wasn't getting up there for the electric slide until the tall girl, the tall woman, tapped me and said, When you do an electric can you dance? <laughs> no, nah, I can't really. 
Hey. You got your issue on? Yeah. You got your issue on? What's your brother Yeah, yeah, you got your issue on? Uh? Not really the best. Not yeah, really. That ain't really my thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> you better value do, 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 do. Not, not the best dancer, man. But, I mean, I do a little. Well, can you electric slide? Think so. Do, do, they do, do electric do, slide. Do, we'll, do, go out, do, we'll go out there. Do, 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 do. All right. Dude. My Dude. shit is rough. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the little shit with the babang. Yeah, you said she was tall, but with that thing was. Look yeah. up. <laughs> oh my god! All right, oh my god. all right, all right. Yo, all right. this is weird. Cool. This is cool. weird. Yeah, man, cool. Listen, man, it's only right. Mariah Carey looking. You heard, you heard that? The skin, huh? <laughs> I only got a couple more years of podcast. <laughs> I ain't doing shit with y'all no more. I ain't turning 50 doing this with y'all. Oh, Hopefully y'all enjoyed this podcast as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. My heart is heavy right now still. Reinforcements are coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake, Drake got you. Drake gonna restore the feeling. Nah, don't he tell got me. You. I'm still mad. Mel ain't even know Vince Carter from, from Toronto. She's so cute. She named every name in the world. She got out of that Vince Carter shit. He's, right? actually, he's actually not from Toronto. He's not from Toronto. I wouldn't know anything about yeah. him other than his basketball career and good dunks. Same. Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Till the next time. It go. We bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arriva Dirty. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have and last, but certainly not least. The baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them something. Grab you a Tylenol, you might need it. Get you a muscle relaxer, you might need it. <laughs> At this point, grab you a 30, you might need it. Yo. Whatever your vice is, grab you a gummy. Grab there you a you glass go. of wine. Get you there some you mushrooms. Talk my language. Yeah, turn it up, man. I think we got a busy weekend ahead. We got a yeah, busy yeah, weekend buddy. ahead. Again, outside of the competitive nature part of this thing, we support and applaud anybody that's taking care of their mental health. Do not risk your mental health in the good name of hip hop. You don't have to do that. Facts. Take care of yourself. Lord knows Kendrick won't do it for you. And if you know you're not like that, don't act like you like that. Yo, that's why this hook is popping now. That's, that's this hook part. is popping now. And Kendrick saying, I'm really like that. This he hook. kept saying it. Everything y'all told me about this song not being that does nothing but get more powerful. You not like that. It's just mm. that simple. Yo, you're you're like a nice that. guy with yeah. a good family. That's right. Go and home. a good heart. Go home. And kids. Go it's home. funny how we handle people differently, boy. When Drake beef, boy, that nigga had to show y'all a picture of his kid. Nigga had to. <laughs> Nigga was forced to. <laughs> no comment. Oh. Lines Ooh. just hit different. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. If you'll diss Melly Mel, you'll diss J. Cole. Anybody. Anybody. Mm -hmm. crash See, J. All the way. Cole, I'll J. Crash Cole, out. J. Cole can't and won't say won't the same. Never. He won't say that. He got a good heart. He won't ever say that. It's a good man. Go home, be a family man, bro. <laughs> yeah, go, go home. get out. You know, you see the kid, like, yo, dog, yo, dog, what you doing out here, man? Go, go in the house, bro. You don't need to be out here. This ain't for you. Mm -hmm. This is not for you. Like go, yeah, I'm gonna go tell over there, bro. Cole, like I had to tell Mad Skills, go be with your family. You got people that love you, bro. Go yeah, ahead, man. You got a good, good family. Yeah. Don't fuck this up for you. Got a good heart. Yeah. You're a good man, a good human, a good soul. Come on, yeah. Mel. Yeah. All your little water buzz cooler words you like to use. Come on, jump in. Help me out. All, all that good shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. really like that. Nigga, bong. Bong, <laughs> bong nigga. It didn't told you. I he really bonged like and that. then one of them <laughs> removed themselves. Hey, gracefully lift your chain. Give it to me. Come no, on. No, no, no. <laughs> Slowly. Don't pull, don't pull it over your head. Slowly. Oh, oh undo it. Oh, take, I got a word for you, clasp. magnanimous. Yeah, unclasp your chain. Take, take the clasp. There Watch two. Watch two. Hold up, you know. I heard him. We got him, Mel. I'm trying not. Mel. I mean, you want me to apply a word to the situation. I think he's being... Magnanimous. This is magnanimous. What's that? Mm -hmm. What's that? Word, I watch X Men too, yo. You right. Magneto. Yeah. <laughs> shit, <laughs> Magneto, Magneto holding shit down right what, now. What does magnanimous mean? I don't know. It's uh, almost like being um, gracious on a regal level. So that's like the PhD way of saying go be with your family. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, I tried to just pull it out of my ass. Yo, I hope everybody got, has a good week. That's it. 
you got you got to let Metro get his shit off. I am. Oh, okay. And then All I'm right. ending this shit. All right, cool. Got to let Metro get his shit off. I hope everybody has a good week. Yo, I'm not tweeting. I'm not Instagramming. I'm not, uh, what's the other shit? Uh, spaces. <laughs> I'm not doing none of that shit. I'm in LeBron zero, zero dark, dark 30, 30 mode. Ain't nothing to say. No dribble. Like he doesn't dribble at all. He doesn't have any free throws on the season. He doesn't have any assists to feel like. Damn but he getting cold. threes up. It can't happen. That's the stuff we can't have. It's frustrating, but I think we'll figure it out. We got him. We fucking got him. JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? No Joe Biden.